No. seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. We don't block the whole past here, Arthur. Just the bad, sad parts. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Earth whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Whatever happened to you, Prudence? You 
you're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. behind in our work now that you mention it. the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Smash it. Go on, smash its silly face off. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. No, Call no, security. No. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time!
Uh, Christ, I thought of those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. some bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. What happened to him? Or rather, who? Going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But but, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for we'll look out for each other.
down. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. couldn't stand remembering them. A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? I ought to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Convenient story, isn't it? 
The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Seems. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Nowhere I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me. In that sort of hamlet over there, we'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. 
I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who can store most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Just looking. I wonder if he ever figured it out. Why I wasn't on the train. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this, if I could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly Arthur 
Original. Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now let's choose your weapons. One. It's quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey. Sort of guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Sleep. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I don't have a jimmy bar. Can I find stuff to make one with? I'm gonna have to search these bodies for bits and bobs of metal, aren't I?
I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a Motiline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Please just lie down. Resublimated dimotyly, the fuel of the future now. Thank you. 
go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. I need a nexabite, or failing that some tea to make me throw up. to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Oh, bloody... Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. You want to get thrashed? You're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or well, they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch. And they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! The moving finger writes and have ripped moves on. Nor will the piety nor the witch shall lure it back to Kent's harbour. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh! That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh! Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red and... And her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? 
I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card? To get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. My suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Oh, that's a bit risk. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. <laughs> Welcome to the bloody garden district. <laughs> what a waste of time. Some sort of secret message.
Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Oh. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <sighs> oh. <coughs> I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. Now I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Have you been sleeping all right? Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. It's the four, isn't it? Mum, Dad, I've come home. Well, don't you worry, dearie. The mark of Cain, you have to protect him. People Sit forget down, that. Have a cup of tea. I'll just go and make up your bed. I know how you feel. Don't go opening people's boxes just because they're not looking, okay? Some big secret. How are you holding up? Clothes make the man, don't they? No one likes a naked person. This too shall pass, I suppose. Stay out of the fog. It bites. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. But he tore out his eyes anyway, didn't he? Hello. The worst of it is, we did things the Germans didn't even ask us to do. The moving finger writes, and having writ moves on. Nor all your piety nor we are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. At least there are flowers out here. Stay out of the fog. It bites. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. I better not catch you getting into my stuff. At least we have our memories, right? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. Leaf Wellington. 
Wellington pie. It could be worse. Shepherd's pie. I think. Apple it's pie. nice to talk. Baked apple. It's good to talk. Baked potato. Mashed potato. Bangers and mashed. Things fall apart. And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the Garden District at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Hall. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags, I'll piss in your corpses. We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat! Jesus Christ, I haven't been in here since. Yeah, that's it. This will hurt a bit. You know, just made them take the kids. Instead of us bringing them here, singing London Black and Bridge. You shut the fuck up. We're here for food, not nostalgia. Down to the tracks. Oh. What the fuck was that? We should have brought another bomb. We don't have another bomb, do we? There has to be a way in. He gets in. So I get down. Right. Huh. Now I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells.
I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. Too old to go to Germany, are you not? Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. Don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh look, it's a little lamb? lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. the violence inherent in the system.
Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You go mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. <laughs> you could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... It's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know. That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it.
sit in the small chair to try the small bowl. Oh, this porridge is much too cold, she said to herself. So she decided to sit in the medium-sized chair and taste from the medium-sized bowl. Oh, yum, it's perfect, she said to herself. And she ate of all the porridge in the bowl. Well, eat all that porridge made Goldilocks very sleepy. I wonder what sort of bed you bear has. You two bloody listen to me, all right? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time, and they get along just fine with their man who rides them. He's called a baboon. But when they're in heat, you have to chain them up. And this one, they got loose, and his mahout went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant no fucking civilians! Yeah. I have to kill you now. Christ, I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Arthur! Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, 
They've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll, I'll come down. Um, I think I might be stuck, actually. Do you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The General keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the General's office? Any way you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Let's see that map you made. Hmm. Only sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. To sleep, for chance to dream. Ollie said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. Garden district, don't they? Well, I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. Leave that alone, would you? Now's the time to endure, as they say. Who's there? What's that? Who goes 
Who's there? What's that? They never come back. Day, sir. Day for it, sir. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. <laughs> no, this is over. I wouldn't mind having a call with some of those Jerry's. We beat you once! We we'll beat Jason you again! For you Come on, on, bastard! Work something out. No. Should wrap that up. All right, here goes. Papier mache. We took all the kids to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier mache. Bloody hell, I'm bleeding.
personnel, the very band players, will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet, at 8 p.m. in the mess hall. All are invited. Don't worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies. It's not my turn. And the bad news is, Eddie, you change with Tommy. Harry, you change with Reg. <laughs> to endure. Attention all personnel. The cook has lost his wedding ring. If you find it in your food, please return it to the kitchen. Thank you. I feel terrible. I keep wanting to throw up, but I never quite can. But we're supposed to tell. We're supposed to tell. We're supposed to tell the scouts about the plants across the river. Actually, you're supposed to tell the scouts. Well, I nod sagely. I can't hear you. You're not sick, Percy. Just go and tell the scouts about the plants. I can't talk to them. Do you think they're going to be nasty to you without me? No. Well, I'm vomiting. I want to make my brother some tea. Are you going to just not show up? Alright, look. I'll phone them. Just remember to turn the flame off this time. Alright? personnel, the merry band players will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet, at 8pm in the mess hall. All are invited. Don't worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies. Attention all personnel, some hey, of sir. the latrines are in the process of being moved Jerry's from the old the holes house. to brand Smoke new out. holes. If you see a latrine somewhere you're not used to, it started! <laughs> it's finally started! Can't 
Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water this week. There have been some issues with the pipes. You may want to take an extra How am I ever going to get that out of my clothes? Boiling may break it down. Feeling a bit dizzy. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie will be King Arthur with a Gentleman, starring the hilarious Ronald Shiner and Arthur Askey. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. No one saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death.
key was in General Bing's office. this bookcase, isn't there? I feel positive there's something that could open this. Attention all personnel. If you find any plague mushrooms inside the camp... Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Well, aren't I clever clogs? A hatch. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. Attention all personnel, soldiers found drunk on duty will be given 30 days in the brig. Soldiers found trafficking in contraband will be court-martialed and dishonorably discharged from the home army.
Attention all personnel. If you find any plague mushrooms inside the camp, please notify Corporal Ramsbottom so they can be eradicated safely. Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water this week. There have been some issues with the pipes. You may want to take an extra joy or two as boiling may break it down. All right. All right. Here goes. Attention all personnel. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ollie. The intruder should be captured. He knew it was alive, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew. Necessary to capture him How do we get out of here? I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Thief! Insult traitor! Oi! That's not yours! Jerry! Paper and fucking glue. Right. Now, if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? of shite tasting grub? No! We told you fucking meat and potatoes tasting food, you stupid bit! My god, they've kidnapped some poor woman. I could be a real hero and rescue her. Or get myself killed. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. Oh god, meat and potatoes!
I could probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. Young Artie! Come on up! That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew! How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and we the others. Up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh, my God. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home? How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the fog, yes. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then. See you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Sick up tea. To cure food poisoning. By making myself throw up. Oh, God. Ah, but I wind up having to eat a lot of rotten things. And having to throw them up.
Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off there, Joy, can actually take Joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. I see. I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. I 
you never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this room. Scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Lovely day for it. Right is right. Right is right. Life for noise, pop a joy. Please head into the theatre and take a seat. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. 
And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. Hey, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, don't 
doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. I'm afraid that was a bit of a trick question. It's true, you can't find your house when you overdose on joy. But we want you to see the broader truth, which is, who cares? Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seven try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well. That's all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our final time or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes, the eyes! May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks.
A Rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. All right. Did you see the Piper's match? Smashing. There you are. I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Lovely day for it. I got a new compliment machine. It's so clever. Move along, please. What's done is done. Nothing to see here. The past is history. Now, now, mind your own business. Yesterday is no place to live. That's right. Leave the bodies to us. Thank you. Oh, that's a real nasty piece super, isn't it? Better, thanks. You flirt. All right. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Lovely weather. You're looking nice and trim. Lovely day for it. Well, hello, dearie. Should clear up soon, I imagine. You know, I think we wear the same size. Up. Lovely weather. I hope the baker comes back from a holiday soon. Well, hello there. What exactly are you doing? Yes, you there. This is Uncle Jack talking directly to you. Are you where you belong right now? And are you supposed to be doing that? These are very important questions for all of us. As patriotic citizens of Wellington Wells, it's not enough to just look out for yourself. We all have to look out for each other. And that means asking ourselves these questions every day. Are we where we're supposed to be? Are we doing what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> for if we're all doing our duty, will we preserve and thrive into the future? You never can be too careful. Take it from me, Jack Worthing. Stay where you belong and do what you should be doing. And you never have to worry. <coughs> My 
Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? Me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew. There's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? <sighs> Oh, I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh, but what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny, you don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Uh -huh. He did it. Uh -huh. I know he did. <laughs> 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 Now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovations. Oh. For how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. <laughs>
You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? doing this. Wait for the new shipment of vegetables. I thought you didn't like vegetables. Yeah. Come out, come out, wherever I you need some are. Oh, my goodness. Hello, I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I can tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bean's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Lovely day for it. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says.
Percival Hastings, is it not? N- no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? I'm 13. They took my birthday wrong on the card. So why are you here? Where do you think you're? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where has Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. I said, bugger off. If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. But why do the Germans want children? I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. When are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Oh, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. Oh, sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But, but the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie. It confuses everything. Yes, yes, it really does.
they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. Oi! Get out of there! Uh -huh. He certainly does have this place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Are they renovating it? I see you. You're coming with me. What's all that about Bobby Hickenbotham? He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. Should clear up soon, I imagine. What? A joy detector. Well, I'd better take my joy. Snug as a bug on a drug. Looking good. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on, you're not Harry. Lovely day for it. Hello there, love. Couldn't be better, thanks. I can't wait to see how they've fixed up Lud's home. The Reform Club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's home. I wonder if I can borrow his paperwork while he's busy being punished. I have the oddest feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day.
You didn't skip your joy, did you? Are you feeling all right? You can't hide forever. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You don't look as happy as can be. Why aren't you happy? You need to be happy! The killers! They did it! I know they did! Such an hurry. For a minute there, I thought. And the happy man is excited to discover it. Lovely day for it. See you at the pub. There you are. I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Rest in my feet. Percy, you're soaked. I'm fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all 
day. Did he not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It what? It, it wasn't raining. It was drizzling. Now you're going to get sick, and then I'm going to get sick, and then Dad is going to get sick. Should clear up soon, I imagine. You flirt! Guys, well, I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. It's sloshy. Good place for giant octopi.
Feels entirely too good. Now, if I can find the switch again, I'm in business. Why are there peepers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Oh. 
<laughs> That's awful. Try not to dream about trains. Lovely weather. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh, yes. That's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? Lovely day for it. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come too. having so much fun. Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them.
Um, Percy, they said you got a caning at school. Yes. Did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Why you... what? Well, why you got the caning. Yes. Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slathy Crowden's face? No, I didn't! Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around for... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault then. Oh, good. I, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic! I know. Nothing but blue skies. I saw a spanker spank a downer just now. <laughs> it was so jolly. If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. Lovely weather. I have a bit of a feeling this venue might not be to your taste. Why don't you go away? I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. All right. Ooh, very nice stitching, if I may say so. Right. I can take his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? Lovely day for it. Did you see the partners match? Smashing. All right. You know, I think we wear the same size. Couldn't be better, thanks. You're looking nice and trim. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb buried. 
Who's there? Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Happiness is a choice. Excuse me, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motoline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either, and that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Beauchamp? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs. And they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would weep. Lud's hole. That's where they've quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. Mm. 
he said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, ah! if you don't want to end up like him. They've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. It's fucking stuck! Roger! What did you do to the fucking valve, huh? You over-tightened it, didn't you? Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd I have to fall for a stupid fucking mechanical imbecile? I told you to leave the plumbing the fuck alone! What are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her and... Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. I want you to have this. Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. Clear up soon, I imagine.
Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage. And impedimentis, to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what order you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... when you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. Your joy, indeed. Oh, hello. You're not James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh... These chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door, either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee... I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or peepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Either she's as brilliant as Sally and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? Well, it was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. Oh, <coughs> 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 
Handy little sucker. <laughs> Have I got any power cells? I could fill them up too. You know the general, Sally? That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? What you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Um, hmm, the, uh, the going in the hole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I'll mark the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. This isn't too loud. Should have said. How have you been all these years, Sally? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again, instead of all those dreadful things.
I really have to extract three bits? Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. Too old to go to Germany, are you not? No, no. I'm not going to put one more child on that train. Oh, oh God! Personal. Off about this later. He's got a madness, hasn't he? for the next minute. Where I popped it. Hmm. Oh dear. Are you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But we're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. Be 
Ooh, he's about to go. Jesus. Oh my god. Keep doing this. seem to be in the mood for a rational conversation, do they? Bridge. You take 
your joy immediately. Lovely day for it. You take your joy immediately. Uh. What the hell was that? I hope she's alright. Maybe I should go check. You can take your joy immediately. You can take your joy immediately. Oh, for heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without helping me. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. Thanks. Papa Joy.
Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. Toodaloo. Well, here goes. I, I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an ass. Maybe you should have said, Oh, yes, Sally, do talk to your friend the General for me. What a kind thing to offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let Don't everyone else run dead free? In those clothes. Maybe in hell they just don't let you go. Oh. I can't remember his face. Be a happy idiot again. can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links, then? <laughs> Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days, and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me.
lovely day for it. You flirt. All right. I learned a new batter cake routine. Do you want to try it? Lovely day for it. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm going to take Van's eye lessons. You should come too. Lovely day for it. Hello there, love. Lovely weather. How long has it been? Should clear up soon, I imagine. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Lovely day for it. Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful sermons. I wish he was Anglican. There you are. Did you see the Pipers match? Smashing! Bob's your uncle. Don't you just love the smell of Mottoline? It's so modern. Your joy immediately. All right. I saw a spanker spank a downer just now. It was so jolly. Lovely day for it. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? on about <laughs> oh, sorry sorry dearie please don't tell anyone I promise I'll stop crying I'll take my joy I promise don't worry I will keep your secret I miss them I miss them so. I miss them too. You used to grow lilies. Lilies? I thought you meant the... Lilies? I overwatered them last year. Killed them. And I can't find fresh bulbs anywhere. We used to grow them together, Violet and I. Before her husband got so jealous. I've one of the last proper vegetable gardens in all of Hamlin. But no one will trade me lily bulbs. Well, you never know. Maybe some will turn up. Would you like some tea? Thanks, but I must be going. Poor thing. She does miss her lilies. And I think her uh, friend, too. Wait a minute. There's a lily patch in the garden district, isn't there? On Lud's Hole. Every time we went past it, Percy told me the exact same thing about how a lily patch lasts for practically ever until you rip the bulbs out. Maybe I could do a nice, sad old lady a favour.
How have you been? You're looking nice and trim. Friends, wellies, countrymen, lend me your ears. Don't you see that our world has gone mad? We're all in the same let's pretend game. We call a rat a cat. And we pretend our shopkeepers are coming back from holiday. And we don't talk about the most important event in our lives. And that is the gates on the bridges. Do you remember when they went back up? I don't. None of us do. But there haven't always been gates, have there? We took down the German gates at the victory. I know, because I walked from eel pie to apple home then. And weren't my feet sore, eh? Get out of our park. This is no place for free speech. When did we put them back up? I can't remember, but I'll tell you why we did. It's because the rich are robbing us. That's right. We're thin because the parade is fat. Shut up, you sick down a bastard. Black dog, wet blanket. They're eating our bread. They're eating our butter, and they've locked us out so we won't see. That's why you need a letter of transit. You're trying to bring us down, you rotten gowner. Wet blanket. Well, it's time to tear down those gates. Tear down these fences. We'll have none of that anarcho-syndicalist trash, thank you. He's actually <laughs> telling the truth. <laughs> well, <laughs> part of it. You're only oppressing yourselves! No! If you'd just let yourself oh, think, you'd realize that! That's what you get for telling the truth around here, poor sod. You? You listened? You're obviously a man of great wisdom and, and perspicacity. They never listen, you know. If they'd just listen, I know they'd come around. Would you mind terribly posting a few of these? I'm sort of a bit soggy at the moment. Yeah, we shouldn't be seen together. Come back this evening. I'll give my speech. You make them stay and listen. Together, we can change the world. Part of it anyway. anything worth talking about lately? What do you think of the sermon? Oh, I never really listen. Just there for the cupcakes, are you? I get all my thinking done when someone else is talking. Ha! <laughs> At least you're honest about it. Be better, thanks. I hope the baker comes back from holiday
Happiness is a choice. <sighs> ah, nothing cheers up a bobby like a nice bottle of scotch. Try not to dream about trains. And they're off. I really ought to explore those caves. Oh dear.
I used to wear clothes like that. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? Never thought it would come to this, did we? It could be worse, I think. Never thought it would come to this, did we? At least we're alive, right? At least you could drink on the pumps here. I don't know how you feel. Sometimes, in the shadows, I think I see eyes. This too shall pass, I suppose. I'm tired of fighting and running all the time. Isn't it? It's strange. There's things here you could never find in Hamlin Village. Hello. Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. every day. Oh dear.
I wouldn't mind one of those. Thanks. Well, I hope Mrs. Hudson feeds Sparky and doesn't eat him. Help, are you? So <laughs>
while the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. Oh, tempora. Oh, mores. At least we have our memories. Right. Stay out of the fog. It bites. I can't keep doing this. if they meant the kids on the train. The toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. 
I didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. go to school together? Miss Bing's class? I saw a ghost in White Tree Park. But she wouldn't talk to me. On the plus, how are you holding up? you just have to eat rotten things. That's life, isn't it? Why didn't they say Have you been sleeping all right? You never see the postman, do you? But the Royal Mail is on the job. When is Uncle Henry coming back? I don't know. But we surrendered. We did. Look, Dad won't talk about it. Maybe they drafted him. Can they do that? Who's going to stop them? I can't hear you. The Germans can do whatever they want until someone stops them. The Russians, for example. So why... So... So, so when is he... So when is he coming back? I don't know, Percy. I don't know. The Germans, they don't explain things. They just give orders. Why? Well, because... Because I don't know why. I'm sort of worried that he might have... volunteered. I don't understand. That's probably for the best.
cables coming out of that painting. Why does that bookshelf look like it doesn't quite fit? I wonder if it's some sort of secret door. Oh, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily.
suffers! Over! You will hear. Can't we work something out? No? A man's hurt with- <laughs> Just lie down! Maybe if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. We see the violence inherent in the system. feel well at all.
Thank you, thank you, thank you! Come back any time, I'll make you something fantastic! My savior! Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? I ought to drop by someday when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. We can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. Please don't make a fuss. Just relax. Don't question it. This is not who I really am.
Look, it's not you, it's me. Please don't struggle. I know, trust me, I know. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. <coughs> Sorry to bother. You can't kill us all! <coughs> yourself, Arthur. Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. Won't hurt a bit. Actually, Hmm. 
Before we begin, please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox is in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Who's our prudent friend? Another bread. I remember bread. Oh. Who needs a chest in the middle of nowhere? Maybe if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. really have to do this. Get your own bloody pump! Leave my friend alone! <laughs> Can't we just agree to disagree? Oh, 
If you're not a bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. Who did that? Mm. What have we come to? about this later. Silly Gretel, if someone put a gingerbread house in the middle of the forest, surely they're meant for us to eat it. There's a way out the back.
I didn't think you'd hear me. At least there are flowers out here. The undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns. <laughs> huh. I didn't think you'd hear me. You're always such a sound sleeper. I just meant to sneak out with the map and then I pretend someone else must have dug it up. But you had to wake up, didn't you? And go off like you always do. I didn't mean to hit you that hard, Reg. I was just scared. You're scary, you know that. Everyone's scared of you. Remember when I told you I was the only one not scared of you? That was a lie. I was the one who was... Can't we just agree to disagree? something away before something starts chasing you. Oh dear.
Is a bug on a drug. I should sit down for a bit. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
yourself, Arthur.
duck soup. Mm. Nothing like duck soup. The ducky? It's our lost childhood. Once upon a time we had duckies, but we haven't had duckies for a long time. Now, at least, we can finally have our ducky again. Lost childhood? Are you still living in the past? Don't you think it's time to grow up? I see the ducky as a sign that we haven't given up hope. Hope is the thing with feathers, you know. Ridiculous. Hope's got nothing to do with it. It's a thermometer is all. We don't want the stew to boil. That'll ruin it. Oh, that. It's a thermometer. When the stew gets hot enough, the ducky spreads its wings. Amazing, really. No, it's not. It's a decoy. It's a decoy, for heaven's sake. That's a rather unconventional stew. Oh, that. It's a very clever decoy. You see, if a duck sees another duck resting on a pond, it assumes that pond is safe. The stew is our pond. The moment a duck lands in our stew, we can skin it and cook it. A decoy for a duck? Are you joking? Ducks aren't going to land in a stew, no matter how long you stand around quacking. Ducks are smarter than you think. They know things. All right. You know what? We're never going to agree. <laughs> that is a terribly charismatic duck. Hmm. That gives me an idea. I think we have to prepare for the worst. We've been fooling ourselves making duck stew with a rubber duck. We all know there's less and less food in the garden district every day. We need to escape. Or we need to figure out how to survive the apocalypse. I still can't believe we thought that duck was our saviour. Have we lost our minds? I suppose we must have done. Seventeen years of joy do that to you. She's right. That duck wasn't our saviour. It was a hell duck. It was leading us to, to madness and death. Thank God you made us throw it away. I remember staring into its dead, cold eyes and thinking it loved me. But it didn't, did it? It wanted to possess our souls. That duck took everything from us and it gave nothing in return. How could we have trusted it? That duck haunts my dreams. Its soft, downy feathers and mad little eyes. It sneered at us. Why? Why did it hate us so? Thank you for making Richard throw away the ducky. You took the veil from our eyes. Now we see clearly. Here, we want you to have this. It's everything we know about this place. I hope it helps you. Oh, that doesn't look a bit like a trap. Right, you can't. 
can't take all this with you. Nothing personal. Now I drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. Don't take a minute. Can't we work something out? No? Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. Thank you. 
come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. Things you smell when you barely see. Oh. Oh. Your move, Sam, man. doing? Bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. We're life for noise, pop a joy. What's that? 
Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. something away before something starts chasing you. It's been a hard day's night, that was. Walking around dressed in rags like that. Lovely day for it. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Should clear up soon, I imagine. See you at the pub. Well, that feels entirely too good.
Lovely weather. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come too. I think he's terribly popular. I'd better be discreet about posting these. Now that's <laughs> the behaviour. What on earth are you doing putting that noise up here? He did it. I know he did. I can't keep doing this. Look at him. He's covered in blood. <laughs> Playing the maple was a naughty Roman ritual about, well, <laughs> all grown ups here, aren't we? <laughs> but we Brits, well, we've been dancing around the maple for as long as we've been burning virgins in giant wicker men, haven't we? <laughs> but don't really do that anymore, do we? Apparently, though, the custom of men and women wrapping ribbons around the maple by dancing only dates to Victorian times. It makes sense, doesn't it? Before that, Really long ribbons were much too expensive, yes. A lot of ancient customs are really Victorian. For example, the idea that each Scottish clan has its own tartan pattern. Do you know who made that up? All right. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Lovely day for it. See you at the pub. Couldn't be better, thanks. Well, hello, dearie. Can't get peaches anymore, can you? Mayday Gruet from Summer Isle Ale. Lovely day for it. Well, look at you. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> You're a mad dog, just like him.
There you are. Fancy a kappa? Should clear up soon, I imagine. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? Lovely weather. Did you hear? Mrs. Sadler found a boat. I hope I could crap. No. Oh, it's all getting mushy again. You want to be a happy idiot again? I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. You from Central, then? That's right. What's wrong, sir, is the bloody electricity's in and out. Well, the bridge works are supposed to function properly even when the power is inconsistent. Haven't you read the manual? Well, sir, I will let you get onto the bridge without further ado, then, sir. Well, that went surprisingly well. This is a choice. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Fabulous! 
Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. My bridge to the parade is just one more bridge and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells. Lovely day for it. You flirt. Bob's your uncle. I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Be better, thanks. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Day to you. to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Oh, I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. 
I'm not crazy, but I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You were always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really, really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say, cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us glass. Keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Snug as a bug on a drug. Sorry, moustache. You're looking nice and trim. Lovely day for it. Righto. There you are. Don't you just love the smell of motoline? It's so modern. I've been in Hayworth Lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight... <laughs> up in the disposition of the lab and it is currently in isolation no one in no one out please come back later uh, but, but uh, uh, I'm a reporter I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten oh a journalist eh <laughs> have you got your press pass well, I uh, left it at the office well then <laughs> you'd best go back and get it haven't you so a press pass gets me in Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Eau Courant. See if she's got a spare press pass.
That takes amazing, what is it? Tune in next time when we talk about rat meat. Everyone knows about the legs, but did you know you can turn the eyes, feet and tail into a perfectly good sock soup stock? <laughs> Seriously, don't be afraid to experiment with new foods. It's part of the adventure of living in these times. It's Jack Worthing telling you to keep that larder full and save the canned food for a rainy day. See you soon. I'm getting old. office. That was fun, being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? Uh, excuse me, the, the door upstairs is locked? Just like my sisters, always pester, pester, pester. Pardon me, pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? Unless it's the second coming, I can't be bothered. If someone would just have a bloody wedding, pardon then me. I could get a cup pardon of coffee. Me. Do, you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? If you don't stop pestering me, I'll murder someone, I'll I swear I will. I've a suspicion that they want some coffee. If I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. If I can get Mrs. Onofant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Arthur. Arthur Hastings. The whole place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? 
when you disappeared for two weeks. Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. That were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. Just rest in the feet. Don't mind me, just having a bit of a sit down. There's 
Atención. Easily. Lovely day, isn't it? You don't. We're oh, doing this to each other. Are you today? I mean it. Get out. When you wake up, you're back. I've always liked you, actually.
sleep, the poor man's dinner. I'm honored to know you. You really bring out the best in us. You've got... Lovely day for it. Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful Oh dear. I've forgotten about the headmistresses. They get so cross if you're not on joy. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Lovely day for it. You know, I think we wear the same side. Sunshine is wearing off. Better be careful about spankers again. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. I'm not getting in that way. <laughs> Just stay to read the meter. Everything all right? I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. I swear. 
swear by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo! Turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh! What on earth? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. You can't take all this with you. She recover in a few days. No, I will not keep my voice down. I am a law abiding citizen. Insane. Did she know too much? About what? Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Downer! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Are you? Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. The locks looking for a permanent solution. Well, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? Electrocutions. Toxic fog. If I finished Gemma's investigations, Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job. And then I'd have a press pass.
Well, I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this Motilene regulation unit. Maybe the answer's ah! there. Who's out here somewhere? What she found a way out? Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. Should clear up soon, I imagine. You're looking nice and trim. Lovely day for it. Right, Toe. Couldn't be better, thanks. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Well, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just... Turn that. Don't! Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll, I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe wrench? Ah! Ow. I should really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> 
Power's out on the elevator. I need to find a way to turn the juice back on. And yet another note about bad joy. Gemma was really onto something, wasn't she? Executed. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before- <laughs> Fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw.
she accidentally poisoned the muffins. They even on Joy people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the Joy. wanted to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? You gotta drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's gonna be tediously slow going. Joy's going bad. That'll drive the entire town crazy. Adjusting the formula. New materials. Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. I have a feeling there's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. It's 
becoming rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. This is the slowest roller coaster I've ever been. Make way! Make way for Captain Tone of Total! So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm going to have to turn on some power switches. I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid. For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? So electricity damages jubilators. What can I sap it with? Mm. I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid. Doesn't anything work around here? I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid... And if 
hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Direct the modeling to power the grid. Oh, for heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? That's one. Two more, I think. I sort of think this place is about to explode. One more. I can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you.
there's the power room. How am I supposed to get across? I'm swimming! Oh, good Christ! Where are your clothes? Percy, where are your clothes? with you. Open that bloody door now, I hope. Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realise he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. Ta-ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors.
Oh, that feels entirely too good. There you are. All right. Lovely day for it. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Blood's home. All right. Did you see the Piper's match? Smash it. Busy. What is it? Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh my goodness. Why? She was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, he's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, See if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great! I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. Germany, they're rather vague about it. Is it nice for? Yes, I'm sure it's the dance of the sugar plum fairies every day. I can't hear you. Oh, it's probably not a salt mine. I mean, I hope it's not. But, but why children? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they want hostages. Or maybe they need workers. They're missile factories with very small hands. Oh, uh, uh, maybe they're selling all to the Turks. They said it's temporary, but... Who knows? Why do they want all the children? Oh, I don't know, Percy. I don't know. Dad says it's a test. If people don't fight for their children, they won't fight for any reason. Did we pass the test? I said, did we pass the test? Snakes in my gun. Give up, and 
I won't smash your face. You won't get away with this. We have none of that around here. We're life for oh, boys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 now we see the violence inherent in the system. imaginations, aren't they? You've always been good at coming up with clever solutions to just about any problem, eh? <laughs> Certainly easy to get sawdust. Which is saw so good. <laughs> and yet, sawdust will indeed fill you up. It's very slow to digest, which makes for a full tummy all day long. Just make sure it's powdery and not too rough or it'll irritate your stomach. <laughs> Do bear in mind that sawdust has surprisingly little nutritional value. back here with the minimum of fuss. If you don't know where you're going, you surely will get there. So much to choose from. Thank <laughs> you. 
to sleep, perchance to dream. It's all boarded You're up. You're coming with me. What happened? I'll have to break in somehow. There he is. Get him, lad. Maybe I could find some answers inside. If I can get in somehow. I see you. You're coming with me. Place yourself, Arthur. That's the guilty bugger. Right there. You're coming right with there. me. Shit. for the next minute. Yeah. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Isn't that Colonel Lawrence's house? He was the hero of Ramsgate, wasn't he? Look what I found. I did think I used to run a hundred meters. something out. No? Here to see the doctor. He does love to be in the papers. Then right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well... You certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. 
I must ask you not to stray from the path because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Mind the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the exposed threshold temperature. Never mind. Just... Grab the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. That door looks rather sturdy. Oh, I, I won't stop. The killer's right there! Get him! Can't we just agree to disagree? knocking down my blocks in kindergarten.
sorry. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. Or do they both? I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. sneak past these gents without a fuss. Dr. Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then, or resolve the situation yourself. somewhere, isn't there? Oh! <laughs> 
I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. Time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. 
Uh, of course, there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. <laughs> I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back! Right, I've had it with you. I'll drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger! Look, I don't even want to be here! Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. They'll do a better job than you people. <coughs> Please just lie down. Was that supposed to be ironic? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> God. Is that an original? Did 
Do you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil, I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's going to come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil?
The King of X! The King of X! The King of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. away before something starts chasing you.
That smells awful. This is where they flushed the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind poisoning the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. of slightly defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out? Ah. <sighs> A hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. One more done it. There's the guilty party. Over there. I 
actually think you owed me a bit of money. After nearly getting me killed, you better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you and... They lived happily ever after. No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you.
hell. You want me to see a doctor, sir? <laughs> After the first point, man. <laughs> What's going on? Help! Help! We'll laugh about this later. Snug as a bug on a drug. Lovely weather. Good day to you. Should clear up soon, I imagine. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Couldn't be better, thanks. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb buried in her garden. Lucky it didn't blow her up. Lovely day for it. May I see your litter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. Be late to work, are we? I don't like trains, Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? You would talk to me when you're gone. Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. parade just like I pictured it strange to be back here how long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day right around here now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm station and find the train tracks to the Britannia bridge Institute. I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive too. 
If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed? I should see if I can get down there. How dare he cancel on me? I don't care if he's double booked. He was nothing before I taught him how to walk. Uh, I know. I, I know how to model. Sorry, love. Tits ruin the drape. Buy me a new male model. Too sweet. That was fast. Hmm. Right height. Right build. Bit tan for my taste. You're new, aren't you? Never mind. A Quintin scent? You're probably not hopeless. I just hope to God you can strut. Go downstairs and ask Nigel what to do. I'm gonna have to do this stupid fashion show to get it, aren't I? Maybe the models can tell me how not to make a complete fool of myself up there. Sensational! I saw a spanker spanker downer just now. It was so jolly! We bring out the best in us. I do rather need you to stop buggering yourself and open the fucking door. Fuck! My pants ripped! Davy will kill me. You wouldn't have a sewing kit. Bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. seem not entirely delighted. Stage fright. The last time I tripped on the catwalk, Davy locked me in a fucking closet for three days. I could use a shot of whiskey, but all we have in this wretched place are drugs. Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? Like that girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. Oh, that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I toss the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Mustache. You look like a ghost. 
you are the one, aren't you? I'm a bit fucked up. But Candyman said it was a Sally special, but... But he lied. I'd kill several innocent people for a flash. Do you know any innocent people? I don't either. You're a lifesaver. Uh, any advice for the catwalk? Do a cheeky little bang-bang gesture. They love that. I hope you like this sort of thing. Thanks, Azil. Now the whole crowd won't have to see my knickers. I'm sort of... new. Got any advice? Try fierce, I'm watching you move. Might want to see the doctor about that. You're an inspiration to us all. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. The crowd's restless, dearie. Go out there and fucking wow them. Just strut to the spots marked with X and show yourself off. And quickly, we'll get going then. You are capable of walking ten feet, aren't you? Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, and on your mark, and work it. Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. I'm the fiercest. How high can the hemlines go? Shirt. How high can the hemlines go? How does it feel to be one of the beautiful people? Darling, you weren't utterly dreadful. Have some party favours. Say, Mr Hackney, it's a bit late and... I sort of live on the other side of town. Would it be too much trouble? I suppose you did do me a favour. Here's the key to the pad. No throwing parties in there.
Oh, your move, Sandman. without anyone trying to kill me. Where do you want to go today? I'll drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. who I caught sneaking out of the executive washroom. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. serious about the plague here. It must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. Corker of a day. Lovely day for it. I'm glad I'm not a Bobby if that's how well they're taking care of Bobby poppers these days. Stunning! Wait! I forgot to tell you the punchline. Yeah, Hold on. Not You're not Harry. Glad I'm not a Bobby. I don't think I can do this as long as these poppers are popping out constables. of them to leave all the works exposed like that. What if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things? Seems to be out in uh, also. That popper looks like it's rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that.
brilliant. This won't hurt a bit. Just relax. Don't question it. Oh dear, I don't think that's working anymore. Oh dear, that's not working anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. Don't even have a plague. I don't see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, we'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our quarantine control grid needs uh, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie. Very long way away, doesn't it? But 1984 is closer than you think. At the Wellington World's House of the Future, you can imagine yourself in 1984 when machines will clean your house while you nap. <laughs> That'll make the wife happy, won't it? And will also have pills that replace food that you'll never have to eat again. Mmm, beef Wellington. Delicious. Now, the inventors at the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research have all sorts of amazing things in store. We'll have typewriters that type the words for you as you say them. And imagine being able to listen to your own music anywhere you go. In phone booths. Yes, there'll be a built-in record player. Just bring your favorite records along when you go for a spin in your flying car. And of course, we'll always have our joy. We couldn't do without that, could we? It won't change a bit. It's perfect, just the way it is. Smashing! If we can just reduce the budget a tad more, I think we could really make an impact. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? Good show. Watch out for scurvy, Uncle Jack says. Now, if I were to talk to disable the quarantine gates, where would I be? If it's not down here, I bet it's in that office. 
Pop leaves. Is the vulcanizer gas up? We need to adjust the flow mechanism. It's still wasting a lot of motor lead. Stairs and see what's wrong with it. of course. Can't have the staff running in and out asking questions, can we? I'm solving a very difficult equation. Leave me in peace. Apparently Confucius was wrong. The way in is not by the door. Someone please send Hargreaves up here. I can't be down on the floor all the time chasing people. solid. Might need a gun to break it. Or a cannon. There does seem to be a rather large cannon here. I'd have to rotate it, but it is on a circular platform. Has anyone seen Hargreaves lately in the past week or so? An electrowave stimulator. What does it do? I suppose it stimulates electrowaves. That doesn't sound right. Seems to be missing a battery. Do you have those numbers for George yet? I've got a new compliment machine. It's so clever. Cheerio! I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come too. This seems to turn Motilin crystals into gas. A lot of gas would charge up that cannon. I'll probably need some sort of valve handle to unblock this, I think. This seems to be in operating condition. It's a prototype for some sort of torch you use in the kitchen. Doesn't seem to have all its bits. I wonder if I could find something around here. These machines don't seem to be in tip-top condition, do they? Where have you been all day? Oh, I've been out at the, uh... Yeah... At the, uh... I'm so sorry. Never mind then.
Sorry to bother. Oh. Consul, late for a meeting. See you at the pub. Do with the console now. We do have someone named Hargreaves. I haven't completely lost my mind, have I? this to each other. It's more than a breeze. I need a bloody great blast of air. How do I kick this up a notch? you actually.
still off gassing. For heaven's sake, turn off the heat after you've taken your readings. We don't want to turn the entire motoline crystal into gas all at once, do we? Does anyone know how hard it is to get a motoline crystal that size? Does anyone care? I suppose you're who I have to thank for the hole in my wall. Oh, did knock. Don't be silly. Do you know how long I've been asking them to fix the hot flash? I can't even remember. Oh, uh, the power cell was missing. Oh, for heaven's sake. They said they had to wait for a part. Look, without help or even a manual, you fixed three machines and triggered a chain reaction. Yes. Well... Sorry about that. I need a chap who can figure things out. Would you like a job? Uh, oh, uh, I'm afraid I'm sort of trying to get out of town. Why? This is the best of all possible worlds. Nothing gets done, but everyone's happy. You seem sort of exasperated, actually. Well, don't tell anyone, all right? How are you getting past the quarantine gates without a framistat? I was hoping to get one from, uh... Here? They've been pestering me for one. Tell you what, I'll give you one, and when you're done with it, give it to them from me. Oh, that's very kind of you. I will. Here, look around. If there's something else you can use, take it. Smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more.
snug as a bug on a drug. Uh, the chief asked me to borrow the scissors. Have you got them stashed away somewhere? All right. I'm the new guy. Uh, any idea where my desk is? Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Now I lay me down to sleep.
I know, trust me, I know, just uh, watching the day go by. see the violence inherent in the system. Never drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going.
In hell, they just don't let you know. Oh, it's all getting mushy again. <laughs> I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Enjoy. You'll forget Percy. To sleep, perchance to dream. We're life for noise, pop a joy. doesn't kill you.
<laughs> I actually think you owe me a bit of money. Look, I really need this. Sorry to bother.
the poor man's dinner. This is a choice. man's on a rampage. I wouldn't ask him for a raise today. seems to be out in Hello, that's my old office. I bet Clive got my window, didn't he? The little shit. Are you trying to make me angry? Fine. Time for our big recreational activity. Show where you're the star. Come on, everybody. It's time for everyone to gather in front of this telly. And if you're inside, be sure to go and find a telly outside. This game is much more fun to play in the crowd. Today, we're going to be playing Simon Says. Are you ready to play? Okay, begin. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says, I got you already. Now, you all know the rules, don't you? I'm going to tell you to... The rules, don't you? I'm going to tell you to do something. But if I don't say Simon Says, you don't do it. If I do say Simon Says... Okay. Okay. 
Oh dear, I've forgotten about the headmistresses. I suppose I could just sneak past her via that alley. There must be some way to put her to bed for a bit. Otherwise, how do they get close to her for maintenance and such? See how they expect me to visit the shops on the other side with all these spankers and things. I almost feel unwanted. I wonder if she's powered from in here. Can't we just agree to disagree? Terribly effective cleaver suitable for your more... Ha! Ah, now headmistress can't scold me for breaking quarantine. Well, that feels entirely too good.
Oh, this should be fun. A building full of fanatics who can smell me. Naked among wolves. Attention all attendees. The keynote dissection and luncheon will be starting in the operating theatre in five minutes. How do I get to the elevator? I don't think I want to mingle with this crowd. Dr. Defoe, please report to the quarantine grid room. Dr. Defoe, the quarantine grid room. Thank you. All nurses Hi. are reminded you don't to be Keep running. violence inherent in the system. He looks familiar, doesn't he? I'm sorry I couldn't be at the meeting. Did I miss Who anything you? critical? Did you hear it? I've always liked you, actually. Congratulate Nurse Elizabeth Neal for winning the Waste Not Want Not Award for her adaptation of a crash cart into a file for frequently used forms. Due to the dissection luncheon, lunch will not be served in the cafeteria today. If you are not attending the luncheon, please make other arrangements. marked alcohol contain isopropyl alcohol and not ethyl alcohol and consequently do not go well with tonic water and ice. Thank you. 
Jung would be fascinated to discover that language itself is part of the cultural conscious. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> something away before something starts chasing you. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. with you.
The quarantine floor is currently under quarantine. If you need access to the quarantine floor, please see Dr. Milton for a key card. Snug as a bug on a drug. Got no business here. <laughs> Why are we doing this to each other? You don't. But work something out. No?
Unfortunately, the panel on improving bedside manner has been cancelled due to lack of registrations. If you were interested in the panel but did not register, please communicate this to Sophia Jex Blake, as there is still time to reschedule. in pharmaceutical technology, this is your opportunity. Ah, the key card. Off the quarantine I go. Yay! Why are you being stupid, Arthur? Well, what's wrong with this move? Checkmate. Inform moves. How? I move my bishop here. So you just have to go there. So, I put my rock here. So, you could only move there. Or there. But then, I put my other rook here. Do you, do you see? What you want to do is go here. Why are you knocking your king down? Because I'm not playing you anymore. You're playing you. I can't hear you. Let's make some tea. Do you want to play again? Maybe in a little while. Oh, Arthur. Yes, Percy? What's a sore loser? Oh, touche. All right, set them up. We'll go again. I like playing chess with you, Arthur. Quarantine grid. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Attention all staff. A downer with plague has escaped from the test labs. Please consider him armed and dangerous. Be on your guard.
waiting for you. How long until the coconut joy takes effect? There we go. Lovely. Oh. Now, Dr. Brooks is going to bring in a series of disturbing oh, so stimuli. Hopefully, with the coconut joy I've given you, you won't be a bit bothered. We won't actually see the stimuli. There's a blind between us and you, and a blind between you and the stimuli. It's what we call a double blind experiment. Off you go. Don't forget to write. <laughs> That's my little joke. I know you've forgotten how to write. I can't remember his face.
to go from the early turns. for the next minute. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. I'm getting old. That's the one what done it. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Please step away immediately. Oh, it doesn't kill you. When he woke up, he realised it had all just been a bad dream. Happiness is a choice! Ha! 
I'm sorry, sir. The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Well, I think if you examine the gate, you'll see that it's been unquarantined. Oh, so it has. Well then, I'll just bugger off, shan't I? <laughs> Enjoy your visit. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is a bit wet, but that's the lovely thing about English weather. The sun always comes out in the end, so come on out or you'll miss it. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning. Took a V meat sandwich off a downer this morning. Clear! Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. tracks are just past those revolvers. Oh, 
What have we come to? The whole floor's collapsed. So much for the tracks. Oh, I hope I don't have to go up there. I'm gonna have to go up there, aren't I? Why does God hate me? Make me come and find you, should have. It's not personal. Hmm. What have you got? Now, why can I?
I don't think I want to breathe in those fumes. I wasn't the first one here. Oh shit, Prudence. <sighs> if you're not bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. You look smart. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb buried in her garden. Lucky it didn't blow her up. I hope I can get back to the tracks through the mines somehow. Perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? Look at that one. It's almost. Oh, my God, it does look like a camel. Or a, or a weasel. It has a back like a weasel's. Or like a whale. It's very like a whale. I wonder if you can do this with clouds. Don't even joke! Hello? Do I know you? The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. 
They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... the machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, uh, all right. You'll need my key card. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on. You're not Harry. I could take these all the time, and I wouldn't have any worries. Oh, it is a thing to cross that abyss. I wonder how you turn it on. <laughs> do we really have to do this? The old man's on a rampage. I wouldn't ask him for a raise today. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come too. I've got it. What if you come with me? And I'm too old. What if I sneak you on the train? That's against... That's against the rules. Oh, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens.
Come on! Seriously? Can you just wait till I'm gone? Are you really doing this to find Percy? I mean, where would you even look for him? Is he even alive? Is he in Russia? How would you even get to Germany? Good. I'm finally back on the right track. Hmm. You know where I'm going on holidays? Spain. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account, aren't you? You need the guilt. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Damn thing so itchy. These times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I know oh, you. Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must get back on the train. The windows Arthur, of the train. Where'd you go? Arthur! You must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No! Mr. No, Percival Hastings. No, is that me? Please, Percy? No, People call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right, well, um, Mum thinks I can't... Mum no, thinks I can't... No, no, Mum no, thinks no, I can't no, take no, care of myself. Arthur. But I can. To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Can I go? This is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along. Then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. something terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't 
didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you, you must treat it as a gift. To know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. <laughs> that is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. Just a minute. I'm out of Blackberry Spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry, I don't have any now. What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it. You're lying. It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies. <laughs> to work on Spud. Brain, it's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat. Isn't it? I'm hallucinating, and it's a rat, and it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spud out of here.
You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? Oh, and of course, there's the blower. I hope Gwen's all right. Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spud couldn't have shown up at a worse time. Fuck in a bucket. He won't bother you anymore. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. Gwen's running out of nappies. I better make some more. Where did I put that cloth and tape? I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. Who is it now? Hello in there! Is there anyone in there? Constable! Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you... Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, how stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a bother. I, I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mom. Cheery bye. Off with the wet, on with the dry. Wipe up the poop so the baby doesn't cry. Oh, you can't be serious.
Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighborhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of, um, cooking, no? I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. Soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. Broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck it, fuck it. I better go calm her down. I can't think when she's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, baby is gonna starve to death. Is mummy the worst mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait. Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. Listen, darling. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till mummy comes back. Okay? Please? Mommy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. You look well. Did you hear? What's going on? Please have ten milk, Lionel. What can I do for you Please. today? Please, Sally Boyle. I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mock girl like yourself. Everything I've got's as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 the trade from over the bridge, well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the Garden District. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there. There's rumors of cannibals, devil worshippers, Q jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on eel pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Uncle Jack Records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district drag. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. It gets so resentful.
It's been a while, hasn't it? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Don't make me come find you. Get down, you Who's damn black dog! Give up, and I won't smash your face. Well, hello, dearie. You did it! Black dog! He was right there. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Look who's dressed up for a garden party. We use a bit of help, couldn't we? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. Is this the post box I dared ask her to blow up? I really should never have posted that letter.
just isn't our day, is it? Clothes make the man, don't they? Nobody likes a naked person. It probably won't get much worse, anyway. Pain doesn't make you brave. It doesn't make you anything. It doesn't kill you makes you strong, eh? We've all got to stick together here. In spirit, anyway. in this together. I saw a dead man. His lips were green. He'd been eating grass, do you see? Because he was starving. We're not cows, we can't eat grass. Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle That's the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. There's the one, what done it? I see you! You murder up! You can't kill us all!
towards the house of bread. me for the posh girls in year seven. I wonder if Lionel can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Then I wouldn't have to run back home as often to feed Gwen. Sounds a bit hard-hearted, doesn't it, Gwen? But Mummy's trying to save our lives.
I know just how you feel. Be kind to strangers. One day you'll be. Bright and shiny, Sally. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden district. Toodaloo. Lovely day for it. You know, I think someone's looking. There you are. Did you see the pipe was match? Smash it. Sorry, mustache. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Righto. You're looking fine today. Nice to see you, man. Afternoon. Sally Boyle. I hope you found your Uncle Jack record. Me borrower has been pestering me. I have indeed. Your Brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when you come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit.
You have such a wonderful sense of humor. Brendan's got something to eat at least. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well... I'll never tell you, frankly. Oh. Oh. Who's at the bloody door now? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashir is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. 
And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Weed anything worth talking about, lately? Lovely weather. What? Drop a note to Jack Worthing. That's me at the broadcast tower and, um, well, I'll be sure to let everyone else know it. <gasps> Jesus. It smells like burning chemicals. Oh, shit. <gasps> Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ almighty! Jesus, no! First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Oh, why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. Golden slumbers fill your eyes. Smiles awake 
when you rise. Pretty, isn't it? They made us memorize it at school. At the time, Mummy was far more interested in love poems. Poets ought to write some more sleep poems, don't you think? You're looking fine today. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Couldn't be better, thanks. Lovely day, Tori. How have you been? Hello there, love. Oh, a bit too bright and shiny, Sally. There you are. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. Lovely weather. What a lovely day to promenade. I've got my eye on you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Why did you bring us here? I wanted you all to see what bravery looks like. We have to take them home. At least they tried to destroy the birth records. At least they tried. And the rest of the town hanged them on this bridge. Are they just going to leave those people hanging there till they rot? It's medieval. Oh, I wish I was half as brave as Tommy Cramner and the Lushfords. You poor dear. Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. gave me. It doesn't kill you, makes you strong, eh? At least you can drink from the pumps here. You 
never see them burying them. Could be worse. You never see the postman, do you? But the Royal Mail is on the job. At least we're both in this together. You'll need something to believe in out here. It's the unbelievers who give up the fastest. Apart, the center cannot hold. Now is the time to dare and endure, right? Huh. The bobbies have a first on them, you know. We use a bit of help, couldn't we? Clothes make the man, don't they? Nobody likes a naked person. I know just how you feel. It's strange. There's things here you could never find in Hamlin Village. Come on, stiff up a lip. <laughs> I'm joking. What if this is it? What if this is all there is? Am I? You probably won't get much worse anyway. You Where should have stayed the in the fog village. Come from? There's food there. That's the answer to everything I felt. Oh, Will these hands never be clean? This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. The center cannot if hold. the war's over, why didn't they send them?
well. Young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle, I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. girls in year seven.
Never believe the day Mummy's had. Bread. Can't remember bread. Strange. Can't remember too much now. more satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. God bless the child that's got its own.
executive power. Tomorrow is another day. If you find fresh fruit or veg, don't wait too long. The blight turns everything. Beaker, a thermostat, N7 triode. I think I can fix my lab. Things will 
look brighter in the morning. Watch out for the ones with plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become wild dogs. I know just how you feel. Stay out of the fog. It bites. Get your own bloody puff. Adversity builds character, right? We must have lovely characters about now. Stay where I can see you. No one likes a lurker. Forgotten how bright joy is. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Michael, you've got it. The plague. We can't possibly let you in, I'm afraid. Oh, how awful for you. You must go back. Back to the garden district. Go. Shoo.
And now it's time for Funny Old Customs. The show in which Jack Wernick, that's me, illuminates our jolly island.
found you. Do I get a prize? You're never going to get married if you treat men like that. The less blood, the better. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Mind having a couple with some of them, Jerry. You lot don't appreciate the general, because all you know is the war. But back when I saw with him in India, let me, let me tell you what. I've got to learn to give up some possessions, or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. something in case I need to run.
Either I put the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. I feel like a mule carrying all this, and just about as fast, too. to give up some possessions or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. something in case I need to run. Attention all personnel. If anyone finds Private Elston's trumpet, please return it at once. He's not the man who wakes you up in the morning. He is a musician to the band.
Either I put the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. carrying all this and just about as fast too Chuck something in case I need to run. Oh, I've got to learn to give up some possessions, or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail.
I live through that. the Russians. was over. Why didn't they send them back? And now it's time for the show to which Jack Wernie and me illuminates our jolly island ancient customs. Today, we're going to talk about human sacrifice. Needs must, I'm afraid. Yes, many of our forebears enjoyed a human sacrifice or two. And I'm not just talking about watching a good hanging, like we did during the... Never mind, sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, the most famous British sacrifices were the ancient jungles. They're truly like cripples and prisoners of war. It's a giant wicker man. 
Everyone looks the same.
one. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. At school, the boys all learned how to use these bloody tools. Why wouldn't they let us? lies about me after school. Beaten by a girl. Belong here, get out. Scrounge <laughs> six.
the relations leave something to be desired. Pulls off my things. My problem, I guess. I guess there's nothing we can do for him now. Who's gonna clean that up? I guess there's nothing we can do for him now. against taking vanilla and chocolate together. You can lose your balance. Not a very well made safe, is it? Stone soup, eh?
Christ, that's a lot of plague victims. I guess they all want to go home. That feels. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden district. Come on out of there! Look what I found. Don't make me come and fuck. <laughs> I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. Take it down up! <coughs> Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere.
cow for eating well. You can't be too sick if you're that hungry, can you? What is it? Starve a cold, feed a fever. Oh, feed a cold, starve a fever. They're both unscientific rubbish, aren't they? This would be so much easier if I had someone to help. But it can't be your daddy because he's a... Well, I think he's a bit of a psychopath. And I suppose if I were with him, the moment you went to sleep, he'd want attention for himself. And then I'd be so desperately tired, I'd bludgeon him to death. And wouldn't we be in a pickle then? Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning to you. <laughs> I do hope you had a lovely night's sleep. And I thought... What a smart hat. Oh, well, look at you. I certainly hope not. But today is going to be even better. Well, look at you. Righto. Don't forget the most important thing. Did you leave the stove on? Did you remember to shave? Did you wash your hands? Did you brush your teeth? I hope you did all these things, but they're not the most important. Things. What's your pleasure then? Have you got my bird feeder? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. Oddest looking bird feeder I've ever seen. Have you got my bird feeder? Yeah! Yes! Yes, I have! What is look... What's your fancy? We're expecting a new shipment any day now, so do check back in a day or two. Handling. 
course, and wandering hither and thither, and marketing and talking about the weather, and smiling and laughing. Smiling and laughing, of course. I insist on it. At three. Should clear up soon, I imagine. No. Those are the notes. Lovely day for it. How long has it been? Oh, it's been it too long. You look well. We must catch up sometime. Sorry, mustache. That's a cuppa. Bloody revolvers. I've got a sunshine somewhere, haven't I? How have you been? You know, I think someone's looking for you. Odd. Those peepers weren't there before. Why are they trying to keep people out? Don't you forget. 
get it. That's it. You run. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her! She's covered in blood! Oh, she did it! I know she did! Dizzy. If it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works with the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Sorry, moustache. You flirt! Should clear up soon, I imagine. Hello there, love. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. 
Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... Any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. Couldn't be better, thanks. I saw a spanker spanker downer just now. <laughs> well, look at you. Righto. Lovely weather. Wait, I forgot. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful. Only they all like you. If he knows I'm there, it'll get nasty fast. Ah! Relax. 
people don't know what's good for them. You don't... Don't struggle with this one! <coughs> You're sick. <laughs> now I see what the boys like about fighting. This must be the bag Harry wanted. Get out, or I'll make you oh. struggle! Oh. Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Some source of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Just taking a load off. Didn't you? Oh, 
That feels odd. <laughs> There you are. All right. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Ratome via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! Nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. up sometime. Heavens! That's better. Thought I'd have to scream. Ooh. I've forgotten how bright Joy is. <laughs> What's going on then? Right there! The one with the blood on the ranch! Oh, oh, get away with this! Kill us right there! No need to get oh, excited, <laughs> Nasty. 
I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. <laughs> oh god, my feet are killing me. You have such a wonderful sense of humor. Amazing what you can get used to. What kind of bedtime story would you tell me? What do you think all day long while you're lying there waiting for me to come back? Do you know all the secrets? Or are you just thinking that you have a poopy nappy and the ceiling is full of cracks?
I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. Ashiati on this one. So glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. I won't let anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan? Lovely weather. to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. Where do I get the key card to this? Baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. Thank you. 
Uh-huh. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. and not in her house. to the movies. What's this key card doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the Garden District September 12, 1964. Test negative for plague. Think we don't matter just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. Stop, Dr. Verloc! Tommy King's milk drank your fucking test tube and he was a bloody dead mushroom farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! God! No! Thank you. 
I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Into the lab. Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. I hope these boots were made for working. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. Going on then. Clear off. You're wrong. Right. Let's cut this. That's my dollar on <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's the one what done it. There's the one that did it. Bright and shiny, Sally. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're only making it harder on yourself. <laughs> Sorry, mustache. They say you see the oddest shadows. Is something happening? Oh, it's been too long. I hope the baker comes back from here. Have you done your hair? It's a whole new you. Well, hmm. Hello, I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. How can I help you? Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona... Oh, Cerberus. I... She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? 
You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Come again soon. You never know when we'll have something new. You look well. Right. All right. You don't belong there. <laughs> right. Well, that was tedious. You're looking fine today. Lovely day for it. I've got my eye on you. Righto. See what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of 
crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of this. You do come here to forget. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. I think you're just cranky. You're tired. someone meet usual place oh for heaven's sake mikey you could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower Lovely day for it. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb in her garden. Lucky it didn't blow her up. I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me, Sally. I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen and White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh my God. I could help you. I do know General Bing. Oh, the general. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. 
Yeah, well, I've only been wandering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. Remembering. Look. It's a horrible, terrible world out there. And no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. Lovely weather. Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. Oh, it's been too long. No, those are the not. There's no time to be a fussy eater. instead of telling you my troubles, shouldn't I? Who else do I have to talk to? And you never call me a stupid girl. Promise me you'll never talk about yourself the way Mummy does, okay? Got my eye on you. Lovely day for it. Couldn't be better, thanks. Nice to see you, Mom. That's my father. And definitely don't call me Mrs. Worthing. <laughs> anyway, dear Mr. Worthing, my husband stays a really long time in the bath. He comes home after work and immediately runs a bath. And he stays in it until it's time for dinner. Sometimes he even stays in there after I tell him it's time for dinner. Last night, I even brought him his dinner in the bath and he left it there on the side of the sink. What's a wife to do? Well, Susan, or Sue. May I call you Sue? I'd like to think I can call you Sue. <laughs> Susan, I'm not a doctor. I only play one on TV. <laughs> but I do know some doctors and I asked them about your husband. They think your husband might just need a little more joy in his life. 
He seems to be trying to soak it in through his skin. And, well, that takes a very long time, and it'll turn him into a prune. <laughs> so please be sure that your husband pops a joy or two when he wakes up, and a joy or two before he goes to bed. I think you'll be seeing a lot more of them. Sorry, moustache. What a lovely day to promenade. Well, look at you. Righto. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Please step away immediately. Hasn't it? What's that? Should clear up soon, I imagine. Weed anything worth talking about lately? There you are. Lovely day for it. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry, I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be, shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's, he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old. And, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help... Ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right. I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in... the other end. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. No! It's in the will! We agreed! Oh, that was before the you pissed on the Sheraton sisters. sofa! I did not! It was Edmund! You put him up to it! Because it comes to me in the will! Serves you right! You knew I loved that sofa! Well, you can have it now! What will you trade me? For a pissed on sofa? You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands! You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands! Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you have lots of potpourri! It does whiff. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa. Or will be. It's Edmund's piss. Honor? Regina? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were... Gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. Help. 
You deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. All right. I have my pituitary extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Figures. Your rabbit peed on my books. And then you let your snake eat him. Do Uncle you remember when we used to another? swim in the river? You murdered Mopsy! You're just cross because Uncle Edward loved me more. Pitied more like. You dared me to jump off the roof, then you pushed. How much joy do you have to take before you believe Is yourself? Is that a new suit? It's if fantastic. If you or Edward defiled Watch one more of my things, Uncle Jack I'm keeping says. the heffle white chairs. Keep them, since you broke them out of spite. And I'm keeping the Chippendale break from Don't you dare! No. You do get... Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden, but she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. me off on purpose, aren't you? Thank God. Don't want to call the bobbies down on our heads. Leave us alone, you bastard!
We are the stuff of men. How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, oh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it and then return. But about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want. But first, learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several? That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon! Anon!
Of course the lads are here. Mustn't let the birds go thinking they can do things by themselves. You're not the first! 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 There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. I guess I should talk to the Weird Sisters again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did you say the prayer? I sort of feel stronger, actually. I think I can actually carry a bit more. You can't prove it's magic, though. What if it's psychosomatic? So what if it is? You're still feeling stronger. I'd rather you talk me about herbs. I need them. For the drugs I have to make. Patience. You are close to the learning you seek. Our hinge has been occupied. The old stone circle. The wedding party stones. There's ancient power there. The sacred circle has been polluted. If you can clear it, then we'll teach you about the herbs you need. Well, that sounds sort of fun and righteous. Why not?
Get married if you treat men like that. One day, a tall man in town, a piper, so they called him the Pied Piper, for he wore a coat of many colors. So pretty good he played the pipe. But when the villagers told him to stop playing, he told them, Waldo, I'm a pretty good play with the same people. I know the fix. You'd never believe the day Mummy's had. There's nothing we can do for him now.
lies about me after school. Do you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. It doesn't hurt when we free our souls from their fleshy prisons, does it? I think your heart races for a bit, and then off we go to the ethereal flame. <laughs> Why don't we use Hemlock? Like how Socrates killed himself. Nothing much to Hemlock doesn't about, hurt at all. Yes. My God. They're brewing poison. Because we already made two big batches of ditch slacks. Can you imagine if we came back to the Reverend Father with a big bowl of hemlock now? He'd laugh at us. Might not even let us come along on the sacred journey. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring then. All our questions will be answered once we're no longer in the prison of our bodies. That's what he said, right? It's some sort of suicide cult. I'm not going to let them poison a whole bunch of people. Now I've got to get rid of this poison. Well... I didn't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Did he lock you out? You're here for Rue, I imagine. Rue? Why the hell would I need Rue? She's not... That's an abortifacient. Oh! I'm not pregnant. I can't be. Joy's a contraceptive. The regular kind is. Oh, God. I'm such an idiot. You have a lot to think about. If you keep it... Then we'll help you as much as we can. You'll need to be very brave, dear. Much braver than if you don't. Well, you're not my problem, I guess. Try to look on the bright side. Be kind to strangers. One day you'll be one of them. Who's there? Hey. You don't live here. You did it, didn't you? You're here. You know you're here. Uh, there they are. Uh, Get them! Uh, <laughs> To get out there and the pitch! Uh. On your head! Uh. Oh. It's time! Uh. Oh, I'll find you! Uh. And we'll I'll pick you, you up! Uh. I'm calling uh. fighting the uh. He's like about fighting.
quite got the hang of ambushing people. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. to give up some possessions for I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. At least I can have on him. I hope. Just about as fast, too.
I know Dr. Vlock is scary, with all the doctors at his beck and call. But I couldn't keep playing as naughty nurse. Well, I suppose I could have. But you have to draw the line somewhere, don't you? The people there, they were wearing these sigils. Oh lord, the space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their reverend father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared all alone in Germany, so she killed them, and I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her, so she killed him too, and she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. This is the recipe for digital axe, and something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need digital axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented joy. One day I hope the goddess will forgive me for that. Who did that? No, I'm not getting 
fresh with you. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. So pleased you survived the garden. Chuck something spell. in case I need to run. Oh, 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 oh. 
Ain't you gonna be by all for it, me? Put that down! Get what's coming here! Downer! You must destroy it! Black dog! I suppose I'm tougher than I look. Off with the wet, on with the dry. that good? You're tired, aren't you? You're gonna be so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? Mummy could really use some lovely dreams. They yeah, really could. Mum made the antidote, didn't she? In case she had second thoughts. But she didn't have second thoughts. You look well. Right, oh. You're looking fine today. Oh, well, look at you.
Bloody hell, I've lost my dollar. <laughs> How have you been? See you at the pub. I've got my eye on you. All right. There you are. Right, Toe. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. to give up some possessions or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail.
any help, are you? You're not my neighbor! Oh, baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. I need to run. Just about as fast, too. some possessions or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. They've already started. I've got to get to the poison before they all take it.
This is a lot more satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not ruin it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It should. Jesus Christ said, whosoever will save his life shall use it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek moksha, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because of course, there is a bigger vehicle. I've been on it. I've walked into the transcended, both me and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. Throwing it over. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's fast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment. Except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. <clears throat> you just won't ascend. You don't transcend. And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh will Let's go. Let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We ain't living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then, and they're scared. That's what they're going to poison everyone with. To jump. What if the pickup vehicle is If I've done this right, they realize the world is a lot bigger than the garden district. Or something. That's why you need to be service on this line has been permanently suspended.
At least I don't have to wear that idiot. Brilliant. Now I won't need to cross all those bridges. I know. Believe me. I know. Sometimes. In the shadows. I think I see eyes.
How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are dead. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies. Opsifanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Off I go to the train station, then to catch some butterflies.
roast beef. Your customer relations leave something to be desired. <sighs> Scorch marks? Did somebody blow it up? I hope the butterfly survived. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. Getting out that way. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. Go to pretend you never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? Arthur always had the worst nightmares about this place. I suppose I would too. If... <sighs> Hiding up there, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? You're so beautiful. 
I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. girls in year seven. Abide and not in her house. Take the keys and lock them up. Yes, go on, do it. Lock them up. Yes, lock them up. I still don't have all my butterflies, though.
Well, you wouldn't survive the winter anyway. Now, how do I get out of here? This is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. I think he's too sick to even cure. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. I don't actually like long walks. Well, this is a special message for Foggy Jack. Is anyone still out in the street? Be 
Jack. Well, this is a special message for Foggy Jack. Is anyone still out in the street? Well, you know what to do if there is. I really want to chuck something in case I need to run. Are you wearing? Are you a downer? No, those are the dogs. God, do you need a change again? Goodness, aren't you hungry? easier if I had someone to help but it can't be your daddy because he's a well I think he's a bit of a psychopath and I suppose if I were with him the moment you went to sleep he'd want attention for himself and then I'd be so desperately tired I'd bludgeon him to death and wouldn't we be in a pickle then
Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho, ho, ho! Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, the lads have, um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesize a blackberry on time next time, so we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no. It's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. No, it's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be. how mummy feels. She got out of hurt to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I getting at cod liver oil? Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at mommy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. 
All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. Sweet dreams. I wish you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realize it was so mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head, being a mum. But you just go to sleep. Sorry, moustache. What a lovely day to promenade. What a smart hat. Are you new around here? Or did I just forget? It... Lovely weather. We must catch up sometime. Oh, it's been too long. Did you hear? The circus. Couldn't be better, thanks. I got a new compliment machine. Well, look at you. Lovely day for it. How have you been? Nice to see you, ma'am. You're looking fine today. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. You look well. You flirt. Oh, it's been too long. Don't you just love the smell of mottoline?
It's advanced maths and chemistry. One of the German scientists is teaching it. We're not paying extra school fees for something you'll never use. That's too bad. All the brightest boys are taking it. The ones from the best families. And I'll need help with my homework. And we'll get to know each other. Oh, for once, you're talking sense. Maybe this once, we can scrape together some money. If you can talk your way in. He already said yes. Imagine my surprise. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off.
Should clear up soon, I imagine. All right. Lovely day for it. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. I've got my eye on you. Weed anything worth talking about lately? There you are. Nice to see you, Mom. I've got my eye on you. Right out. Who's there? You didn't skip your joy, did you? Oh dear, you look a bit down. Why don't you pop a joy? Why aren't you happy? You need to be happy. Really? Bring in No need to get excited after all. Well, I don't see what's all the If I'm very, very lucky, you won't wet while I'm changing your nappy. It's a little game, isn't it? Now's my chance to get Mummy soggy and stinky. Sometimes when I'm outside, I think I hear you crying when it's just the wind. Then I realise I don't hear you and that's worse. As long as you're crying, I know you're alive. I suppose it's a strange thing for a mother to want her baby to cry. But you don't need to do it at this exact moment, darling. Shh. Dear Mr. Worthing, well, there's no need to call me Mr. Royston. We're all friends here, aren't we? <laughs> and besides, Mr. Worthing is my father. <laughs> anyway, um, my question is, writes Mr. Farrell, what's all this talk about a joy spiral? Dear Mr. Farrell, the so-called joy spiral is an imaginary syndrome in which you take too much joy then you forget you've taken your joy, so you take more joy, and then you forget that you've taken that, and so on, and so on, and so on. But Mr. Farrell, I can assure you that no such thing exists as a joy spiral. I mean, you might as well believe in the Tooth Fairy, or Santa Claus, or those people who tell you that we lost the war. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Long before any such joy spiral catches hold of you, you'll probably pass out, and when you wake up, your memory will be restored. Yes, it's true that you might be a bit confused about where things are, but any passerby will be happy to 
point you in the right direction. All right, Mr. Farrell. Good. Thank you for writing. Hang on a minute. Ah, a scented envelope. <laughs> I like those. Um, and this one here is from Mrs. Joan Tamling Goggin of Shagbear Wood in Central Wellington Wells. Mrs. Tamling Goggin writes, I know we beat the Germans and made them abandon our sceptred isle, but how did we do it? Didn't they have tanks? <laughs> Mrs. Tamling Goggin, thank you very much for writing. Yes, it's easy to be confused <coughs> in of those long gone days, and you're right, indeed they did have tanks. Quite a few of them. And if ever you're inside of the Victory Memorial Camp, you can see those German tanks lined up as if it were 1948. I'll tell you how we beat them. With English cleverness, English patience, and English fortitude. That's how. If you want more details, and I don't know why you'd want more details, but if you did want more, you can get a wonderful book called Our Glorious Victory by Jack Worthing. Yes, that's me. And it's available in just about every bookstore in Wellington Wells, and it's full of questions. Bookstore in Wellington Wells, and it's... afraid you've come to the end of our time. I hope this has been informative. Tune in again tomorrow for more fascinating glimpses into the lives of your fellow citizens of Wellington Wells. This is Jack Worthing saying, cheerio, and on with your day. <laughs>
doesn't kill you makes you strong, eh? Well, Mind well. the side effects. More of us every day. Things will look brighter in the morning. Stay where I can see you. <laughs> no one likes a lurker. Before we begin, please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox is in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Who's our prudent friend? You probably won't get much worse anyway. Don't swim in the river. Fumes. And having a bit too much. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. But before I. I'm sorry. <sighs> For the past fourteen years, I've. So I thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said... We used to be Arthur and Sally, the two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know? I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really, really... It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here. Sometime. Let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? You can't expect me to wear that. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. For God's sake, Gingham. I look like Hansel and Gretel. You've been looking a bit too... provocative. Provocative? I don't even wear a bra yet. Mm, maybe you should. You don't want men to get the wrong idea about you. First, I'm not doing enough to get a man. Now I'm trying too hard. Just 
Wear the dress, will you? It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? Filthy bastards. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Well, you don't know that for sure. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Just pretend it is beef. You lot don't appreciate See the general, because all you know is the war. But and and I so with him in India. Let me, let me tell you what. What's the matter with India? Here he goes again. One point out. The seaboys come running into the regiment or HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. I can certainly think of that way of being a banana. If I could get one. <laughs> And they get along just fine with the man arriving. But when they're in need, you have to chain them up. I went to see my old this friend Angus McTavish. And his movement chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market. I went to see my old friend Angus McTavish. And he was doing the again. And the elephant, Angus, next on the hospital. I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moves. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Attention all personnel. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys. Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally, suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. 
oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. (laughs) (laughs) You're as clever a liar as I am. (laughs) You can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No, I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. The General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat... But does it work? Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. 
I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the general's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? trying to fool. Mum? Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. I just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the general's key to the boat. All right. <laughs> first things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey? Good. Now I can sneak. Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. They can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub.
I hope this is Royal of Royale. Just like childbirth, you barely remember the misery. Satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. Time for yum yums. See the night sky. Arthur and I used to sneak out to look at the stars. If you lie on your back and look up at the stars, there's a moment when you feel like you're falling backwards, like you could sink into the earth. I'd grab Arthur's hand, and I knew he wouldn't let me fall.
Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan. What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Oh, it's been too long. See you at the pub. Sorry, mustache. You know, I think we wear the same size. There you are. Well, hello, dearie. Feels better, doesn't it? Try to make it last, please. It's much harder to make a decent nappy than it is to poop on one. Try telling that to a critic, though. Sweet dreams. I wish you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realise it was so Mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head, being a mum. But you just go to sleep. You look well. I'm going to take Van's eye lessons. Couldn't be better, thanks. How long has it been? Got my eye on you. Did you see the pirates match? Smash it. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Well, look at you. Hello there, love.
How have you been? Roy is right. Roy is right. Lovely day for it. What? They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people? It's not yams they worship. They... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Help me, they're gonna cook up my heart and eat it. Oh, I dear. think we should all eat it. Just... Cut it up into tiny bits. No, please, no, don't kill me! My God, they're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look, they're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the old no, one, please, whose no, names don't are kill secret me. and may not be said. Whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my cloak of shadow, ye shall assemble Save in me! some Save secret me! place Please! and adore me. And I will teach you things that are unknown. I am who I am. Oh, leave something to be desired. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! They promised me sweets if I came along with them, but there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah, 
Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. You saved him. I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines. Beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save any, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there and see how things are going. Figure out what they wanted and do it before they even had to ask. And the hatch, I suppose. The woman just clouds have now dispersed. There should be no more power falls. Hi. 
You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Have you got my letter of transit, then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? <laughs> Just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, th th that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. Chuck something in case I need to run. There's the one, what done it, bastard? She's got blood on her hands. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. I just say. I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil.
gotta learn to give up some possessions, or I'm not gonna win a race with a garden snail. Well, that's enough of being here. All off. I know a tailor who could fix that suit. You're looking very tall today. Did you hear about the Constable Rosetta? is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Mmm. Is that good?
tune in again soon for Uncle Jack. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Fancy a copper. I've forgotten how bright Joy is. Well, look at you. Righto. What can I do for you today? Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. There you go. Hope your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers. Lovely day for it. I saw a spanker spanker down there just now. <laughs> we all appreciate what you do. me with those big eyes. No, oh, no one has ever fed you ever, have they? Me, me, mummy.
dizzy. Should clear up soon, I imagine. No. Those are the nuts. <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Lovely day, boy. Stop yawning. Time to head home, my dears. And go to bed. And the Jack Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong. I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. Come on, James. I know you're in there. You're James. everyone that ever Roger cared. Roger, Sally Boyle. Uh, oh, Sally. What are you doing here, Roger? Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Doctor Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid. She died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. Roger! You look well. Did you see the Piper's match? Smashing. Oh, it's been too long. See you at the pub. I just don't know what to think sometimes. Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but the make-believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song. That's my favorite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? Well, that sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. <laughs> I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Where the I hell did I leave it there? About that. 
I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. We need this more than you do. the tummy but after a while you need to eat something nutritious best to dig it into your victory garden where it'll do your vegetables a world of good <laughs> listen to me this isn't my gardening show is it let's get back to flower extenders remember if you're harvesting wild seeds they won't contain any joy and neither will potatoes unless you've watered them yourself from water out of the tap 
and especially soreness and chaff. They don't have any joy at all. So remember to adjust your dose accordingly. And bear in mind, if sawdust or chaff is all you have, Thing. Have you been in that wet nappy all day? Please stop crying. Please. This would be so much easier if I had someone to help. But it can't be your daddy because he's a... Well, I think he's a bit of a psychopath. And I suppose if I were with him, the moment you went to sleep, he'd want attention for himself, and then I'd be so desperately tired I'd bludgeon him to death. And wouldn't we be in a pickle then? Now I remember, they wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero. I just wanted to get down on the ground, clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase. You're looking fine today. Right out. I love what you're doing. And here's Nick's key card. Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? Oi! This is for you. We don't get a lot of thanks in this line of duty.
she is. Get her, lads. <coughs> I'll cheer you up, all right. There's the murderer, right there. Well, I'm glad all that nonsense. Couldn't be better, thanks. Watch out for scurvy. Well, funky as ever. I'm not surprised the maid quit. Sleeping it off? At least he's taking a bath. That's something. It's probably down in his secret lair. How do we get down there? He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? Well, this is a clever hint. Right, right. 
right left, is it? A bit paranoid, aren't we? What's he been taking? someone actually likes this record aside from Nick of course
In a bucket. Whoa, look, lads. It's our lucky day. We don't need to go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? I have a very poor memory. Almost as bad as my impulse control. Fact remains, you have been selling unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain, and you ain't paid for that privilege. All right. Let's dance. That's <laughs> one that's smiling as a rum egg. Here up, that <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I won't let you bring me down. Cheer up! No, I'm not getting fresh with you.
Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic. I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're seeing me. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass. Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the general's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. I've lost my dollar. <laughs> These heels are ridiculous, really. Have you been? Afternoon. I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Lovely day for it.
I hope you like that. It's one of my favourites. I hope these boots were amazing looking. I don't actually like long walks. Forget it. You might want to see it. First the one. Right. Who's there? Show yourself. Lie down, you damn black. Oh, a bit too bright and shiny, Sally. <laughs> Lovely day for it. Well. <laughs> You're coming with me. <laughs> Sorry, mustache. Lovely day for it. Couldn't be better, thanks. Well, look at you. Oh, to be young again. <sighs>
There you are. Lovely day for it. Lovely weather. Nice to see you, Mum. Have you done your hair? It's a whole new you. Lovely day for it. I can't wait to see how they fix up that car. Shall we wonder today? These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. First we have Mrs. H.K. Chesterfield on Curlewin's Drive, Maidenhoe. She writes, Sometimes, when I look out of my window at the garden district at night, I think I see fires. I assumed it was the bobbies keeping themselves warm, but once I saw a whole lot of fires out in Wednesday's Hill. They're not having some sort of police convention, are they? And I swear I could hear chanting. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Chesterfield, I should be worried. Sometimes, you know, the moon reflects in the windows, and then if there's a wind knocking against that window, it can create a sort of flicker effect. Now, my guess is that your curtain rod has fallen down. Did you just fix up your curtain rod and draw the blinds close at night? You will find you're no longer worrying about fires in the garden district. Instead, you'll think about how cozy you all are in our house at night. <laughs> and now, ah yes, let's go to this chap. Mr. Nigel Higgins, both of uh, Bennett's Road, St. George. He writes, How long can this go on? That's odd, isn't it? That's all he wrote. Um, there's another side. Continues, How long has this been going on? Strange, you know, it's I think I'm some sort of riddle. Yes, and <sighs> if it is a riddle, and one of you clever clogs have a clever answer, 
please drop a note to Jack Worthy. Should clear up soon, I imagine. All right. Well, look at you. Is that a new suit? It's fantastic. You're looking nice and trim. That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? I miss my calling. I should have been a secret agent. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he? There are some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Ver Locke's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. 
It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year. Vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible, vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. I've got to take him down somehow. This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him somehow. Make morpholine. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. You're trying to come up with some clever chemistry, aren't you? I like you, Sally. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is going to give you what I can? Just have to turn on the fountain.
He's got all my stuff in his office. I'd better get it back. And just about as fast, too. I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. How long was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen. Um, bright joy is. enemies we beat it before hmm yes and we'll beat it again as you know England has traditionally ruled the seas rule Britannia Britannia rules the waves Britons never 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 shall be slaves <laughs> and that means that our ships have traditionally been out at sea for long stretches at a time sailors used to eat nothing but ships biscuits and salt pork do with some salt pork right now. But if you eat nothing but, you're going to get sick. You see, your body needs vitamin C. But biscuits and salt pork don't have any vitamin C. So sailors and long English voyagers will get sick. And they didn't have joy to make them feel any better either. <laughs> well, a lot of Englishmen put their scientific brains to the challenge and it was soon discovered that fresh vegetables would cure the problem right away. But, how do you get fresh veg on, a, on board a boat that's not going to dock for months? 
where Captain <coughs> James Cook discovered that if he took limes on board, it could cure the sailors. But how do you think, how do you get sailors to drink lime juice? Well, you put it in their rum, don't you? Then I'm going to get up there. They don't make them like you anymore. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. The neighbours think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? <laughs> bucket okay think sally if he doesn't come back they'll send more doctors we can't stay here anymore can we i've got to move you someplace safe Are you feeling a rock, man?
to give up some possessions, or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. I think you can defy with Morris. Huh? 
Well, you're never gonna get married if you treat men like that. Chuck something in case I need to run. on the high road, running up and down the ridges overlooking the forest. He reaches Little Red Riding Hood's mother's house. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. Said the wolf in a not very good imitation. Oh, I've got to learn to give up some possessions. Or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. is a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. something in case I need to run. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. to give up some possessions for I'm going to win a race with a garden snail. Now I see what the boys are about fighting.
Oh, what fun. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. Bright and shiny, Sally. And I was having so much fun. Guilty bugger! Right there! Look at her! Oh. She's covered in blood! Oh. Allow me to cheer you! Oh. Stop! Oh. Keep calm! Keep calm! Uh. Oh. 
Oh, baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. Just about as fast, too. Thank you. 
feeling. What's going on? in case I need to run. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. Got my eye on you. Lovely day for it. What's your pleasure then? Have you got my chemical bag? Not quite yet. I had no idea you had to be so careful with chemicals. Give me another little while. Mind if I look around? Come again soon. You never know when we'll have something new.
Bloody hell, I've lost my dollar. I know Mercy. it was you. Mercy on see what all the battles are about. Ha 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 ha. Mercy, they did it. I know. <laughs> Hide forever. Oh, what a cat druggy. Sally Boyle! Eddie McMillan's looking for you. Uh, he wouldn't tell me what it was, but he seemed pretty... Well, pretty distressed. Even for Eddie. All right. Thanks. Maybe I should get down to the pub and see what he's worried about. Watch your fancy. Oh, look at Sally Boyle. You saved Eddie. Say, come up here if you would. Hey Sally, I heard some doctors talking about you. Doctors? What did they say? They said they were going to Julia Cheney's house to make you a present. Julia Cheney? That poor woman went mad and killed her... Sent her whole dinner party on holiday. They were going to give you to the Bobbies as a present. What did that mean? I don't know, Eddie. But I'm going to find out. Sounds like Anton's planning on framing me for Julia Cheney going on a murder spree. How are they going to do it? I've stopped after the first point, man. I'm out and take your medicine. Why aren't you happy? You need to be happy. We just want to make you feel better. Found you. Oh, I've forgotten how bright Joy is. <laughs> I know she did! I don't see what all the fun was about. <laughs> That's the one what done it! She did it! I know she did! Oh, I've got to learn to give up some possessions. Or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail.
Get out. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. You don't believe. <laughs> ah. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide and not in her house. I see. It reads like I'm egging her on. But I wrote this to Anton. When we were experimenting on a new joy formulation at the labs. One of my pill cases. Bet everyone has those. Should I put it here? You've got Let's to see it. <laughs> 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 Either I put the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. <laughs> Oh, this doesn't even sound like me. Everybody thinks they can write just because they can talk. up some possessions or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Evidence of which you speak. I have seen no evidence whatsoever linking Miss Boyle with this poor woman, and your evident surprise makes me doubt the providences of any evidence that I might find in the future. We will brook no more nonsense about Miss Boyle. Why don't you lads come down to the station and we can discuss it in greater detail? No? You'd rather leave? Imagine my surprise.
It's not the soft snappy in the world, but it will have to do. I can't just carry Gwen across town in my arms, and I can't stuff her in a suitcase either. I'll need to get Lionel to make me a special carry cot where she can breathe, but no one hears her fussing. And if you see a lot of people walking past someone in the middle of the street, well, you can safely trust that they've already realized there's nothing further they can do for that person. Just pretend that the person in the street is not there. I'm a Jack. What's done is done, and it's best if we all move on. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> How's Eddie? Recovering from shock. But that lad's resilient. He'll be fine. He's got sea legs, you know. It takes a lot to knock him down. Say, I've got a proposition for you. You know how dangerous it is to drink alone? I have a dog to drink with. You have a dog? Well, I'm not saying he's a living dog. I'm just saying he keeps me company. Until those plow boys took him. I can't say I'm surprised. Some days it seems like half the town is ploughboys. It's not on the level of saving Eddie. But if you were to bring him back to me, well, he's more precious than I can say. I'd let you have all the booty I have in these chests here. That sounds like an interesting proposition. I'll see what I can do to reunite you and your little buddy. They're always in the same alley. You know the one, where that big dud bomb landed. And they evacuated practically the whole island until they could get rid of it. I'll pay them a call. Mrs. Pankhurst, how have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. 
isn't that wonderful when things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the reform club, but my old outfit... Uh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the reform club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. I wish I'd learned to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. I got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh, no. I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. Sorry, love. Girl's got to live on a budget. I can't thank you enough. Here, this key opens all my chests of booty. What's so important about this stuffed dog? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sentimental value only. I'm sorry I asked. Oh, how I love me salty dog. No one will ever take you away again. Do you want to prove the problem, Maggie? How about a double shot? Huh? 
What's so valuable about a dead dog? Maybe I should see if it's got something in it. Hey! That's not your house! Cheer up! Where did you go? I've lost my dollar. <laughs> are a bit tight. Anything yummy in you? Oh, yeah. there you go. Careful with your uh, chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the bag. Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. Oh, it's been too long. Did you hear that? Sorry, mustache. Well, hello, dearie. I better not try to move her during the day. Everyone will want to stop and have a chat. It's going to be dark in here, darling, but when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to 
be as quiet as a mouse on you. Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. All right? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up.
Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. It's almost over. Let's just lower this into the water. They won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers.
I wonder if the lad who got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Which was a lot. They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lot? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's a shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But, would have risen up. But, Ollie. Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up, we'd have had to. We'd have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thingamajig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Home. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I... I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret? He has to. Margaret? Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Wastrels. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! Takes it out of your shoulders. Where the hell are they getting explosives? I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. We might need to get out of here. Away and boil your heads, you witless cocksbacks! Let's just twist the truth around! Yeah. 
Never liked me, did you? Don't forget all your things on the ground floor. You don't want to leave them behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful, those people might still be here. How the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked! We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy! Bastard. Go forth and sin no more. Huh? 
Now I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. You've set their fuse, right? Well, what if Private Wuss's name lied to us? Calm down. He's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. They've captured one of the home army lads. He could signal somebody for the window. Then why don't you fuck off that Tignary house if you're worried about it? What the fuck was that? He's us to one. Get him! This is for you! Ah. Oh, you have to eat your dog. Oh. 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 They don't come to Oh. 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 Go forth and sin nay more. Are you setting their fuse, why? Well, why? Explosives. Oh wait, they're missing something. No, I think they found it. They're running away from it. We're going to break your legs, if you're very lucky. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. If this doesn't work, I won't feel stupid for long. Trump's away! 
Mug, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. Feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. Mm, there we go. Almost as sweet as you, Margaret. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crowd, Meg. Do you know that? I'm not. I saw you. I was just scratching. I liked it. You did? That little jump you did where you spun in the air. Ah, uh, the pirouette. I used to do that quite gracefully. I was a song and dance man back in the day. And then you had to join the army? Nay, and then I had to eat. You've never seen me skinny. I'm not nearly as pretty when I'm skinny. <laughs> Could you teach me to do a pirouette? All right. Uh, well, uh, you twist your legs like this.
According to his ability. How'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think you deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The cherries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. Well, it won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. That's me off to bed, then. It's not my turn.
gives you a sense of purpose. I made a doll of Mum. It's very like her. Is it? I wasn't sure. She was a tad taller. It's a doll? She was taller. That's not very funny. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. You miss her. I guess. It's just... how everything is now. Nothing's the same. The way things were doesn't even seem real. I sort of miss it, and I sort of... It doesn't seem real. You have too much wisdom at your age. It's hardly fair. I got to be a complete numpty until I was 30. <laughs> what are you smiling for? <clears throat> well, I thought it was funny. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Wait a second. Why does this house look familiar? Because you've been passing it. It's vague because you were drunk. No one likes a... You wouldn't happen to remember exactly where, would you? For once, she's... How the hell does all this work? I'll give it a whirl. So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. You could have killed someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What do you think, Les? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District? They don't have televisions there, do they?
I could do this in the dark. I think I have. You're awfully good at this. Time to hit the scratcher. Things you cannot hold, and everywhere. And the ceremony of innocence is drowned. You're a long time dead, and that's the truth. Did you see an airplane? Where? Huh? It's a dangerous business. You step onto the tracks and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing whether you might be swept off to. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Thank you. 
Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. <clears throat> it's been a while, hasn't it? Eh? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. At least you can drink from the pumps here. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill you. I hope they attack before I get too much older. My back is killing me. They're blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Kill him! Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. But we can't get into the military camp. Well, what about the distillery? They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. Not to quit. Infiltration! Ah. Oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders.
Attention all personnel, the Merryman players are looking for a replacement for the role of Kate in The Taming of the Shrew. Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him. What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. You're right. You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. You're here. I think they draw to the plastique. Wait, Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagues. It's Baden Powell. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Starkey? Go forth and sin no more. Well, this'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Baden Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day, studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water this week. There have been some issues with the pipes. You may want to take an extra joy or two as boiling may break it down. This is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence.
Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I well, guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait. How can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I Oh, just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? I could do this in the dark. I think I have. One day, maybe, we'll wake up from all of this. Now we can come back here from any other hatch, and we don't have to meet any damn English. Fond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Very good, sir. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie will be King Arthur with a Gentleman, starring the hilarious Ronald Shiner and Arthur Askey. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. Pretend it is beef. Who's on guard duty? <laughs> Our own wee bannock bun. Watch out! <laughs> Lay still, you bastard. Attention all personnel, some of the 
latrines are in the process of being moved from the old holes to brand new holes. If you see a latrine somewhere you're not used to, please make sure it is actually over a hole, for reasons I shouldn't have to explain. Attention all Donald! Ollie! What possessed you to come here? Here, I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp, paper mashy! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, I. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes 
in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. What? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Didn't make a racket. Jolly Island's ancient customs. Today, we're going to talk about human sacrifice.
If I've done this right, you'll wake up in a bit. I would drop some stuff, laddie. Donald! Ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, eh? Hoping. Do you remember my meat pounder? That I lent you two years ago? And you lost it smashing some televisions? That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face. Damn collaborator. Traitor! No. You bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Oh, quiet! You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starkey in that car, are ya? I did not think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as a tip. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Sam, man, I said hello. If you can't find something to do, I'll find something for you. You're a bit nosy. You don't have to be mean. I am mean. Ask anybody. But you don't have to be. You're right. It seems some of the lads over at the camp didn't like being prisoners of war, so they... Well, they decided to fight back. But they lost. 
What did the Germans do? The Germans? Nothing. They got all the other prisoners who didn't fight back. Made them shoot them. Which would you have done if you'd been a prisoner of war? Fight back or...? Aye. That's a question. Why aren't you a prisoner of war? And that's the other one. Don't just stand there and go up. Hop to it! Now's the time to endure, as they say. Don't be an enemy. You just try to fucking blend in. <laughs> Shut your gaggy! I'm wearing suck a turd, you lab headed wankstein! Tongue my fat box, you weasel headed gobshite! can make one of those sugar hypodermics. Like it's some big secret. Now don't forget to use it if you start feeling weak. But don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. You look how I feel, mate. It's nice to talk. It's good to talk. Well, that's England for you. I better not catch you getting into my stuff. We're not a bloody bed and breakfast, are we? I want done it. 
the time was so I could carry it back like this and not think ah! twice about it. God for Harry and St. George. figure out. It's always darkest before the dawn. How long is the night? The best laid plans are mice and men. I saw a dead man. Carrying. A rich heart may be under a poor coat. Sometimes I like to say that. I'll ask you that. Observe how the concrete is used for its raw and unpretentious honesty, contrasting with the pretentious ornamentality of the Victorian buildings of the parade. Rather than hiding the structure, the surface preserves the shape of the in-situ casting forms, revealing the nature of... Well, I think it's hideous. I've never fathomed brutalism myself. I can never quite bring myself to hate these <gasps> poor sick bastards. I try not what? to kill them. Because they're still people. Hey. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Oh. 
Well, lad, this is what we train for. and wheezing, then you probably do have bronchitis. So, see if you can get your hands on some old cough drops, or if you haven't any left, drink plenty of tea, rest as much as you can, and try not to cough, and it'll probably eventually go away. But coughing up blood is, like it or not, also a traditional sign of tuberculosis. Yes, tuberculosis is a nasty, infectious disease that we just about eliminated from England before the war. Guess who brought it back to us? I won't tell you, but they weren't mermen, and they weren't called Herman, and they didn't come to preach a sermon. <laughs> yes, well, some of them were called Herman. Ah, <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How do you know if it is tuberculosis? Well, another symptom is night sweats. If your sheets are soaking wet in the morning, well, then you've had night sweats. And we know you're not having night sweats from worrying, are you? Not if you're taking your joy. <laughs> Fever is another symptom. But by itself, it could be just a bad cold. But with night sweats and coughing up blood, well, you might start to wonder. Of course, the most famous sign of tuberculosis is losing weight. Victims of tuberculosis waste away. That's why it's called consumption. That's why it used to be called consumption. Now, if you're not getting enough to eat, of course, you're losing weight, so don't worry. But if you are lucky enough to be getting enough to eat, and you're still losing a lot of weight, and you're coughing up blood, well, then you very well have tuberculosis. What can you do if you have tuberculosis? Well, the most important thing you can do is to make sure that no one else gets it. Don't cough at anyone. Don't spit in the street and wash your hands often with soap. Get yourself to a doctor as soon as you can, and they'll be sure to get you to a place where you can be taken care of properly, and they won't infect anyone else. What if you suspect someone close to you has tuberculosis? Be sure to tell the nearest doctor. They'll know how to be sure if your husband or wife or friend has it and what to do about it. Don't keep it a secret, or it might, or you might catch it too. Be very careful with any handkerchiefs or clothes or sheets that someone might have coughed blood on. They should be washed thoroughly with soap and bleach if you can get it, and they should be hung out to dry at least until a warm, sunny, sunny, sunny day rather <laughs> dries them out, because nothing disinfects like sunlight. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask a doctor. You know doctors, they're always looking out for you. And remember, be your own doctor. No matter what you do, be sure you're taking enough joy. There's no more excuses for feeling bad. You don't have to. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again tomorrow, when we'll see if there's any truth to the rumors about leprosy. I'll tell you a secret. They're all false. <laughs> this is Dr. Jack Worthing, and this is my prescription. Get plenty of sleep and exercise, and you'll be well, well, well. Goodbye. It's Jack's time now. Oi! That ain't no way to dress around here. But you can do ah! for it. I'll cheer you up, all right. Ah! Protecting the Habs from the have-nots since 1829. Better skulk past them or it's going to be a bit of a ruckus. Oh, 
Stuff, laddie. Down up. Down. Let this be a lesson to you then. Take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh... But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Some sort of silly prank. When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back 
when you're in your right mind. No! You can't! Please! I, I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? We're not going to give it to her. Was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. Mm, I don't think she likes him very much.
This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am going to kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry. I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Okay, Mr. Birthwhistle, you can have as big an office as you like. Mm, that doesn't sound like Miss Bing, does it? Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Miss Bing? Is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go don't find me. out? Oi. If you're going to look for that book, I can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed to look like then? King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. Well... That's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I say? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away from... Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the Executive Committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up, lock her up, take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, 
I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'm going to throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yoghurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yoghurt. What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Milk. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. Well, that's coffee yoghurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yoghurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, father. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away from So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. 
I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air! Open the door! <laughs> I'm suffocating! <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word! Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Just let me point them in the right direction. I'm afraid she's been gone from the office for some time. Good luck. Why do I feel like a squealer? Off you go. I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naismith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom. I'll make my own determination as to her localization. No! Come right in! Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. I suppose this is where the maids such as yourself inhabit. I hope you're well enough fed. Myself, I am partial to sandwiches. I suppose this is where the maids such as yourself inhabit. I hope you're well enough fed. Myself, I am partial to sandwiches. It's tiring work being a constable, you know. 
On your feet all day with hardly a sandwich to keep you going? I think he wants a sandwich. Why didn't he just say so? I'm a housemaid. I'm not the bloody cook. Just between you and me. Constable, you must be so hungry. Would you like a sandwich? A sandwich? Do you know we cannot accept gifts in the line of duty? Oh, look at the time. I'll best be on my way. Oh, no. If the tide of visitors has receded a bit, we ought to be able to talk to Miss Bing a bit. yourself if you don't lighten up your bags. The children could stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, nah, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. Oh. People have to know. In an hour. You horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry. Find them. Right. No more, Mr. Knight. Oh, don't Well, that was unexpected. Ow. But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. Ooh. 
You never liked me, did you? Hmm, what have we got here? I don't believe in ghosts. We'll just borrow this for a bit, if you don't mind. that. Thank you. 
people take joy on purpose. I hope I don't throw up. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm terribly sorry, sir. <laughs> the executive committee have decided to close the parade of visitors for the duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you could dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck. Sake. It wasn't helping me anyways. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, so the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. But there's the motoline tunnels. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a copy. From each according to his ability. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. I will do the weather report for you, and apparently it's going to be variable. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Well, be sure to bring an umbrella or two as you go out in your daily rounds, and you'll be right to spray. I'm 
Ray. Ah, I didn't even mean it like that. Well, wakey, wakey, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning. Hi! That's mine! Bloody difficult. Oh, we we'll need to get it. Oh, see see. Oh, the kiddo's right there. Get them out. That won't do. Ah! Ah! Such a good noise. Ah! Why aren't you Boy, happy? Boy, ready to you go. need to be happy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no need to get excited. Right. There's some would say property is theft. Don't mind me. Huh. Careful. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask.
You know what joy does to you. I'll get what's coming to us in the end. That's almost better than whiskey. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Take a flight, fuck at the moon. Wait, I didn't see. Ollie! There's no one here but us Raven. Simon says, step on two platforms. Simon says! Ollie, you know what joy does to you. Ten o'clock, 
Mr. Hewitt for Dalrymple. there's all that joy gas in there, it's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. And people take joy on purpose. Simon says, Step on one lit platform. Take a flying fuck at the moon. Ollie! There's no one here but a... Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Simon says, step on two platforms. Simon says, go drown yourself in the river. You did it. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you wank sting! Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Acton and Max Snell, you bloody charlatan. Your head. You're the first wee dick that's ever made me long for the real Jack! Be sure to enjoy your day! I've got better things to do.
Don't mind me, love. I'm just here to read the meter. Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. You can take your joy in me. Go forth and sin no more. Fond of it. There's been an absence of absence, I'm afraid. James! You don't have to air our dirty laundry to every stranger that passes by. If you do the wash, we wouldn't have some. Anyway, this is Ollie Starkey. Who's he when he's at home? We serve together at Ramsgate. Oh, Ramsgate. Sorry to intrude. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Roger. You wouldn't happen to ken the whereabouts of Dr. Faraday? Not actually sure. She was always talking about making a portal in the universe. It sounds ridiculous, but, 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 but Roger says, well, we're a little worried she succeeded. Don't tell anyone. If she has gone for good, we're out of work. I was sort of hoping... She designed the motoline pipes under the city, didn't she? Oh, yes. That was one of the first things she did on her own, after Mr. Faraday went on holiday. You're not going down into those tunnels, are you? It's like tangled hair down there. You know, like what's in the shower drain because certain people don't clean it. I was hoping there might be uh, blueprints. There must be, but the place is such a mess and she blew it up. The bobbies won't even let us downstairs to water the plants. If Dr. F comes back and they're all dead, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that's too bad. Ollie, they want you to do it. Well, then why didn't they... I could water them for you. Oh, would you? We could try and dig up your plans while you do. Once again, the heroes of Ramsgate save the nation. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll make a gardener of you yet. You can take your joy immediately. I think we found your blueprints. Brilliant. Give us a look then. The thing is, we need someone to pollinate the flowers down there. Pollinate? 
Is your bum out the window? You can't expect a soldier to know about flowers, James. Well, we can't go down there, can we? It's my bee cannon. It's her bee cannon? Well, she made it for me. I thought you were worried about pollinating the plant. All right, fine. Here's the bee cannon. You'll love it. It's got cannon in its name. What am I to do with that? Just find some bees, suck them up, go for the flowers, spit them out. I'll do my best. Uh. Bees. There's no bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it. It's back to the garden district, isn't it? Bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it, it's back to the garden district, isn't it? You're coming with me! You can take your joy immediately. I see you! You're coming with me! Fine authority. You need to get excited, after all. We've got a downer here, That's the one more done it! I so bloody well hear you, you know. That's the guilty bugger. Stop! In the name of the law! Over there! 
Look! They've got the one with the other one. Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Like someone cleaned every surface with mortaline. Good thing I didn't smoke anymore. Come back here without all those disagreements. Ah, the undiscovered country. I now arrived, thanks to the gods, through pathways rough and muddy, a certain sign that making roads is not this people's study.
I'll give it a whirl. You're awfully good at this. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I? The horror. They're the only ones around here clever enough to plan for winter, and now they're pretty much fucked. Oh, Father Nature.
That is better than a pork in the eye with a sharp stick, as the Yanks say.
the answer to everything I bet. Well, Meg, shall we walk to Inverness, Edinburgh, or what's left of Aberdeen? Nothing like a nice quiet walk to keep you from going mad, right, Margaret? <laughs> trouble here. I'm not looking for trouble. I just have a wee thirst, if that's no bother to you. Is that Eddie McMillan? Is that Eddie McMillan? Pray boys broke his legs, fuckers. My legs don't work right. Why doesn't he have crutches? Have you no crutches? I had crutches, but when I woke up, they were gone. Do you think there's somebody took them? He was in the class just before me. Friend of yours? He was sweet. He was always saving birds that fell out of nests. I bet I could make you some crutches with a few pointy sticks and some duct tape. There! You're not That's going to ruin things for it. the rest of us. Someone needs a nap. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Crickets. Bloody crickets. Maybe they found your blueprints by now. You can take your joy immediately. You can take your joy immediately. It's a tunnel, but it's, um, it's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow or a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger! Manners! Have you got an escape plan for after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, 
That could carry you away to, well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab their float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. You will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look, empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label, DSIR, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. Well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade. You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All right, I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. Sometimes I think it'd be worse to be sane and remember everything. This is what we train for. Careful. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. Oi! This place is for people what dress like normal people. We got a down here. I think I see the killer. I know they did. <laughs> you want to be You're coming with me. I've had it with you. Look at him. No snakes in my You can't deny it. after all. We'll dust the one that done it. The Uncle Jack fan club. I suppose they can't remember what he did during the war. What did he do? Voice of the occupation authority on the radio, was it? I won't.
Wait. Our own wee panic burn. Drop some stuff, laddie. Time was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. Did he get to be Uncle Jack? Everybody likes him, except you. Have they forgotten what he did? People are forgetting a lot of things now. Oh, I suppose they don't even know what he did to you. But how did they forget who it was on the German radio every night during the occupation? They locked him up after the victory. People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know. Patience, Ollie. You're too old to carry around so much stuff. But it's all up there. They don't need a cook. They need a maid. Where's the 
bloody parade balloon. You could hide the Tsar and all his relations up here and no one's the wiser. Time to get the float out of here. Ollie! I said float. What did you think I said? We didn't come here for the float. We came here to get into the Motteline tunnels. How did you gang out of here? When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You want me to go up the chimney? Like Santa Claus after he's eaten up all the biscuits? Didn't you read the plans? There's a secret passage and a hatch. There was a hatch here. I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. We haven't been in the parade in a while, have we, Margaret? I hope the executive committee listens. I hope they're willing to tell people the truth. Don't forget to get some hydrogen for your float, in case it doesn't go well in the broadcast tower. I hope you're wrong, Margaret. Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. No one seems to live here anymore. Might be a good place to camp out. I would drop some stuff, laddie. Here. You better stay away from him. He's about to go. Don't get what's coming to us in the end.
Ollie, you're going to hurt yourself if you don't lighten up your bags. Was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. doing in my playhouse? Margaret. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, oh, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? Oh, look at all the pretty clothes. Or Harry and St. George. Control. How much you we learn from the Germans. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. It's not bloody Halloween. The gate's open, Ollie. Can't you just not look at the telly? No, I can't just not look at the telly. They put one in every bloody corner. I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow up the bloody broadcast antenna at City Hall. That is the worst idea I've ever heard from you. What do you know? You're dead. Huh? I haven't got an answer for that, have you? Margaret. Margaret. Ah. Looks like a plague whistle did a number on this. You're going to get what's coming to you.
hand-me-downs, isn't it? Yes, it sounds like a very long way away, doesn't it? But 1984 may be closer than you think. At the Wellington World's House of the Future, you can imagine yourself in 1984 when machines will clean your house while you nap. <laughs> That'll make the wife happy, won't it? And will also have pills that replace food that you'll never have to eat again. Wellington, delicious. Now the inventors at the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research have all sorts of amazing things in store. We'll have typewriters that type the words for you as ah, you say. Ah, the Department of Senseless Idiotic you Research. Your own music anywhere you go. In the phone booths. Yes, there'll be a built-in record player. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? Just need to make sure it's facing the tower and wind it up. That's a terrible idea. Oh, what? 
Shoulders. And now I just get in. I hope this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why didn't you mention that before? Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. Who needs trains and planes? We ought to set the mail by cannon. All right. All right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. What's that? Hey! What are you doing there? Allow me to cheer you up! Drop some stuff, laddie. The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. must be up these stairs. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is a bit wet, but that's the lovely thing about English weather. The sun always comes out in the end, so come on out or you'll miss it. 
Wakey, wakey, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Oh, I don't think I want to try to get past headmistress while she's on the job. I better shut her down you first. You know how I would Where fix everything if controls? I was put in charge? Oh, do tell, please. The elevator's shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my... Oh, that would make people happier. Sorry, ma'am. I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time on her hands. The elevator's shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my colleagues? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. Please step away immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Sorry, I can't remember what I came here for. Listen to you then. See you later. I turn on the bloody power to the elevator. Look what a cat.
so much stuff. did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her. Didn't you? Why it was a sad? What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. I can't help it if I don't remember. Ma'am, I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time on her hands. Ah, there we go. And up I go. Production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Someone there? Did you hear that? What was that? I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. if you don't lighten up your bags. Ooh. 
Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We won't take the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. The tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hark into the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Hello? You? Hello? Here's Ollie. Hello? Time to pay the piper, Jack. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! No, 
I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. You know, there are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. She likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. Like How'd you ken that? The camera's dolls. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret, eh? Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls of Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavour of joy. Jesus. You think a twelve year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean. God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. Imagine living without it, so. So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in, and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie, you turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. You're out. my neighbor. I was your neighbor. Ron, How could I? How can I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What? What can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. They all have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God, God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. Away. They've cut the power! The bastards! There's an emergency... one of those wheelie power thingy-mabobs. You're on air! Someone's coming! 
coming through the popper. Watch out, someone's coming. We're running out of power. Where's still your butt? Watch out, someone's coming. You never liked me, did you? Someone's coming through the popper. You ought to be starved to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Oh, won't you? Oh, have to stop. Stop. Stop it. Someone's coming through the popper. I'm afraid you've come to the end of our time. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. I think he needs to do the wheel again. Shut that down! Someone's coming through the popper! Walking out the front door's out of the question. Good thing I made you get that float. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it! It's a fucking terrible day for it! Lovely day for fucking war anyways! Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! All right, sir. I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. 
Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The food's run out. You have to stop taking your joy. But perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget and go back? I was happy before, wasn't I? Are you really a constable? I patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. Yeah. 
side.